So I can't be sure whether or not I've gotten the student in peril in an area yet. That's kind of kind of sucks. God, <laughs> you you know you win. I can't think of anything worse than that. Oh yeah, is there a? Uh... Hmm. Oh, I'm sure I'll find the uh, the specter specs somewhere. Kind of the nature of it. They're usually not hitting themselves. Hey, there they are. Oh. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Put on those glasses. He had one that, uh, he had a pickup line that included all of the titles of the Harry Potter books. Which, uh, was something. Certainly. Cannot remember what it was. But, uh, it wasn't good. <laughs> Wow, what a fucking series of events. I had to go over there, pick up the Spectre Specs, use the Spectre Specs to build a cement mixer, activate the cement mixer to get a chest, open the chest to get some pieces of shears, so you build those shears into actual shears, and then use the shears to trim hedges. And then, and only then, can I get a, uh, get a, get a piece of the house crest. That's a convoluted ass house crest. Four out of five there. I need to get a... Oh, there's a lawnmower. I don't know if this lawnmower actually does anything, though. Oh, it just opens the gate. I remember that much. Is there a lawnmower that I can get that actually does the trick here? Um... Let's try over here. Oh, no. That right over here. Where's my goblin friend? There he is. Goblin these nuts, am I right? <laughs> Today I'm back to more depressing meals. What are you, uh... What are you eating today? She got this- she got that shovel. What do I got here? Ooh! Hermione bag. Sn uh, Snape underwear, very nice. Where's, uh, Hermione? There we go. It almost looked like Hermione didn't have pants on there for a second. Her pants are almost the same color as her skin. At a glance. In this lighting, anyway. <gasps> Milkman! Best character in this game, hell yeah. Milkman. <laughs> Best character in either Harry Potter game. That's the good shit right there. That gives us a cauldron. I don't really care about the cauldron. I can drive this, but I don't think it's gonna get rid of the weeds the way I want to. Though I will certainly try. No. I have a chunk of cured salami, some formerly canned sprats? What the fuck are sprats? I mean, just based on what I do understand, that's not a very, uh, that is, that is a rather depression meal. But, uh, the fuck are sprats? This is some Canadian bullshit? Time to blow up everything until I figure out where this fucking lawnmower is. Come on, bro. Is it in here? Is this what we're looking at? I'm not certain. Surprise is a common name applied to a group of forage fish belonging to Jesus Spratus in the family of Okay, so it's like. So it's basically sardines. That's even more. That, that does up the depression. You're you you were you were right on that half. Something sardine adjacent. Oily canned fish. Same family to him. Yeah. Okay. I just never in my life had heard the term sprats before.
where where the actual fuck I doubt driving this thing around is going to help me at all. I need to find a, uh, a lawnmower. I keep forgetting the name for it. <laughs> a lawnmower. I just cannot for the life of me. Mm, I think tearing open the door advances the level automatically. I don't think I actually need to walk inside, so I'm not going to do that. On the bright side, I can say with some confidence that the, uh, the student in peril is not in this portion of the game. Ooh, out here, maybe. Oh, here it is. I didn't even think about it being out here. That's, uh, that's Arthur. There's Arthur. Is Arthur the only one with the fix ability in this game? Can I... Can I use the fixability? I would I would much appreciate it. There we go. I just had to get right in the right area. I mean, milk, crackers, and salami, that's salami and crackers for one thing. It's kind of a that's a normal-ish meal. Or snack at the very least. Shelf stable milk. I mean, it's milk. Shelf stable kinda makes it a little worse, but it's still milk. Sprats are just kinda I don't know. I, I wouldn't eat eat uh, sardines or anything adjacent to them in, in many scenarios. If I was forced to eat them, I'd, I'd say I was pretty depressed. Come on, bro. How hard is it to fucking mow the lawn? I guess if you're Arthur Weasley and make this out of a lawnmower, then maybe it can be a little more difficult. Mm. I have spam. I can eat that too to make it more depressing. That's more depressing than salami. I'll tell you that. But I've, I've gotten an appreciation for spam since I've, uh... I've, I've gone backpacking. And that is a very calorie dense way of, of feeding yourself so me and me and spam are in a uh, we're we're respectful of one another the fuck mutual mutual respect between me and spam Calorie dense. It, I mean, it, and it doesn't taste terrible. It's better than like hard tack. Don't blue door. Oh, do I have to actually spray him with water? No. I was like, that'd be a that'd be a creative solution here, but it doesn't look like it. You have hard tack. You you have you have the the middle aged pirate bread that's been double baked into a fucking dead crack. Why do you have that? Why on earth? There's so many better things you can make. The ingredients to make hardtack are are shelf stable and able to be made into much more delicious things than hardtack. The only reason you would make hardtack is if you're going out to sea. Why the fuck do you have it? That's what I'd call the most depression thing. Hmm. What do I do with Dumbledore here? Spray with water was kind of my first thought, but evidently not. Hmm. There's gotta be something in here, right?
Alright, at least I know building that thing is gonna actively continue to level. When it's, it's great when I remember what what makes the level move on. Yep, those are the three. There's something else to do here. I'm not 100% sure what, but there is something. That's where my crackers are. I just didn't know you knew the term hard dock. Usually sh ship's biscuit. biscuit. They're basically the same thing. But yeah, I'm familiar. It lasts for a long time, but you know what else lasts for a long time? Flour and water. Why make it into hard tag? We have technology. Water's not- I guess the water doesn't last for a long time, true. But you have access to it. Why are you eating hard tack? <laughs> I'm assuming if you have access to Twitch, you have access to water. To, uh, pardon me if that's a bit presumptuous, but... Oh. Oh, there we go. That's something. Really flushing the toilet woke him up? Sure, all right. I'll do whatever, I'll take it. Oh God. Is that coming through on the stream? It is. The three, <laughs> the layering on the three um, objectives up top is kind of bugging out. It's pretty neat. <laughs> three days can go stagnant if it's factory sealed never opened. I, 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 I retracted my statement. Sure, water doesn't last long. But we have technology in order to A. Have water at all times B. Have forms of water that do last long Such as bottled water Don't make hard tack <laughs> There's so many better things you can make Literally just fresh baked bread The first step of hard tack Without doing the twice baked thing Just make that don't have the time to make the better things. I mean, I need long-lasting foods. Huh? Really? <sighs> I'm, I don't know your life. I'm not going to judge too hard, but fuck. common dishes Korean army stew. Oh, please enlighten me as to what that is. Also, I'm betting the uh, student imperils in this area. That seems likely, given the locale. Come on. Bitch. There we go. I can figure that much. I don't need the history. I dodged it, bitch. Kinda rude though. Bit rude, innit? It's stew made from ingredients that he left over from US Army bases mixed with some Korean staples.
and this lasts a long time. Spam Ron, Genshi, etc. Okay. Oh, there he is. Both the student in peril and the uh, Hufflepuff in the same place. Oh, no! Nah. Oh, God, what have I done? Okay, he's free. Thank God. Yeah, no, that's the last time. Huh. Does that also give me the Hufflepuff house crest? Perhaps has something to do with this. No. No. There we go. Oh, okay. It just so happens to be in the exact same place. Gotcha. Is that everything? I believe that's everything. Why did you cut out Totoro so I could make it into Totoro? To to Totoro. Totoro. I need to free him. Free him from his red imprisonment. Milkman! We're getting there. 149. 75% of the gold bricks. Not bad. Alright, I need all three. I love how you can see the glasses on the outline of Harry there. There's de very definitively glasses there. Interesting, but sure. Alright. I need all three. I need to remember. I need to keep, keep track of how many I picked up in the level. No, I need to be three things here, I think. Oh, it's a mug. I'm fighting mugs, I say. Oh, shit. At least 80% of my diet consists of non perishables. So sorry, bro. <laughs> that seems like. I don't know. It seems like there's a better way, but I don't know your life. Alright, that's one. Is this a dig spot? I'm assuming it's a dig spot. Doesn't seem to be a dig spot, actually. Hmm. That's strange. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's snow. Okay. Oh, it's already in the room. Very nice. Oh, hey, Squid Man. I thought you were uh, skipping out on the entirety. That's good. One benefit other than cost, it makes every other dish just amazing by comparison. That's not a reason. Cost. Cost, sure. I can, I can see cost being a reason. 
saying every other dish tastes amazing by comparison, it's like, yeah, why did I slam my hand in the door five times? It's because it felt so good when I stopped. Like, <laughs> that's, that's not a reason. <laughs> that's two. Shouldn't be watching this in my eyes. You're, you're getting spoiled. You're getting spoiled, bro. You're getting spoiled. Bro, you're getting spoiled. <laughs> Sprayed out everyone in here. Now I know where Cormac's suit is. Game ruined. Yeah. Bro, come on. You're doing this to yourself. Oh. Mug two. How have I only found two of these mugs? I feel like I've torn this place apart. What if I were to turn on these lamps? Hey, can you stop laughing so loudly, friend? You're annoying me. Stop having fun! This is a no fun zone. Oh, there's a mug. Found it. I can't jump off. Okay, I have to go around the long way. I see how it is. Get the fuck out of my way, you idiots. Bug three. Very nice. Okay. Now, I, I'm, I didn't see anything that would suggest a student in peril, so I'm just going to consider that there's not a student in peril here. Am I close to finishing? Quite. Uh, it's probably tonight or tomorrow. I'll be finishing. Tonight if I'm lucky, but... Hmm. Next game is Lego Lord of the Rings. Biggest open world in almost any Lego game, even to, to this day. It's very large. Oh, why is the Butterbeer sign? Oh, it's torches up top, okay. Yeah. Have a duck. Does Lord of the Rings have bubbles? Oh, yeah. It's it's Lego game. It's just the open world is fucking huge. It has levels, the same as any Lego game. They tell the story of, of Lord of the Rings. Barnett College's P Cub. Hmm. It's fine. Barnett College is. As everything in, in LEGO Indiana Jones, very medium, very, very average for a LEGO game. LEGO Indiana Jones is, is the, the most LEGO game ever, <laughs> is what I'm going to say. We got strength. Barnett College is the hub ever. Does this game have stuff to collect around Hogwarts? Yeah. It's basically, it's not exactly the same um, open world as as Harry Potter 1 to 4, but it shares a lot of similarities. A lot of the same areas are reused. But they add more shit, more variety in the areas, and I think they even make it make a little bit more sense to travel around. Of course, I still need a map because it's still convoluted as hell, but it's something else. Ooh. Ooh, I need some specter specs. Aha, uh -huh, a student in peril. I don't know how to say that. I'm assuming I have to do something with that uh, book area. Hermonini. Is this level called Slug Club? No, it's called Just Desserts. Could be Slug Club. You don't know. That's for later. I have to save the student who's been dangling here for who God knows how long. Save 
with him. Oh, this, I would just imagine this guy spikes him in, into the oblivion. Just knocks him off the ledge. Fuck you. There we go. Very nice. Come inside. Come inside. Oh, Spectre Specs. Hell yeah, give me that shit. Oh. Okay, Hermione. You fuck off, Hermione. Among Us? Among Us. Among Us. Hello? You give? Give, please? Alright. Harry Christmas. Harry Christmas, Ron. Harry Christmas, Harry. <laughs> uh, is that everything? That's everything. I haven't bought a Lego Harry Potter set recently, I'm starting to have withdrawals. Have you bought any other Lego sets recently? Or just Harry Potter? Alright, only two in here. We'll need to keep track of that. Only two character shards. I bought a UCS Star Destroyer. That sounds very big. And expensive. I can see why you're not uh why you're not buying Harry Potter sets if you're buying that shit. Oh, spooky. Sitting on my floor, 40% complete. You know that um, Trouble on Tatooine set I got a while ago? I still haven't opened it. <laughs> it's very much a, a, a Lamau moment, as they say. Lol Lamau. Why is it crunching on, on a shirt? How, how, what did they use that shirt for? Why is that shirt crunching? I don't like this. Trouble isn't on Tatooine. Trouble is where Osmond lives because that set hasn't been freed from its box. I'm keeping it in mint condition so I can resell it 20 years from now for a million dollars. You don't understand my process. Oh, I forgot this is the level where you make a fucking sewing machine in order to make some pants to feed to the the angry living washing machine so it'll let you out of the house. Very nice. Lego Trouble on Tatooine to the moon. Exactly. Double down. Everyone buy Trouble on Tatooine. You'll become a millionaire. Oh, Tonks is here. T Tonks can't actually use her Metamorph Magi abilities. No, she can't. Alright, good to know. Anyway, thank you. I feel like there's a student in peril somewhere around here. Well, I can't be sure, I suppose. They have this level IRL with a Lego set. Really? Nice.
Character token I already got. Nice. Two more. How about you stay as Arthur? Oh wait, we need to fill it with water first, really? Fill it with water, then fix it. I see how it is. Yeah, but Canadian dollars aren't real money. No one cares what it is in Canadian dollars. Two out of three. Bill Weasley wedding. I need to find a, a basketball. Everybody playing basketball. shower. Don't mind me. Go ahead and put out the little ones. Thank you. Can't I just go around this way? There's definitely a big old gap here, but... Alright. If I could get Hermoninny. Hermoin. Hell yeah. So, one more house crest and one more character shard. Should be in the next area. Seems about right. I have a shuttle to radium 2015, which I think is better. Huh. That sounds cool. Could not tell you what it is, but it sounds cool. Ah, yes, this is evil corn. Can only be destroyed by an evil wizard. Do something with this? I'm guessing I do. Um... Snip snip, bitch. That's what my doctor said when I was born. The model isn't great on the new one, but I've always wanted a Lambda shuttle. Hmm. Sounds pretty cool. Pink coat. Welcome back, good man. I didn't know you were gone, because it's only been three minutes, but, you know, welcome back.
Hey, fuck you. No one cares, you bastard. Oh, I have to fucking... Do I have to drain it? God damn, I have to drain it first, don't I, you bitch? Was there any messages I missed after I said the 2015 Teridium? I asked what it was. Uh, and then King Dice said, the model isn't great on the new one, but I've always wanted the Lambda Shuttle. That's what he missed. Fucking go. Save an exit. Get me out of here. I don't want this shit. Oh god, I'm shaking my camera. It's an earthquake. We've surpassed the number of genuine Pokemon in gold breaks. All three character shards here. If you put together all your Imperial figures, how large would your military be? Uh, he wants to know who's the true king here. Skeleton played piano. Ooh, go off. Go off, Skelly. Oh, hell yeah. I'll give you a tip for that. Ah, oh, there's Slughorn. That is one. That is two. You only have one Vader and it's a Vader with a medal? That's incredible. Wow, that skeleton was playing without sheet music too. What a what a badass skeleton. Let's see if I can match him. Apparently I can play the exact same song. This dude was carrying a leaf. Heard piano start playing. He yeeted the leaf at you. And then kept dancing even after the music stops. Very nice. I don't think there's a student in peril in here. Do I even need one? I do. That's not in here. Oh wait, there is a... There's this thing here. I don't know what that sound was, but sure. Go off, King. Oh, that is that is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, understood. So I missed out on the solo movie sets because there's a lot of more appearing little stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the solo movie sets were probably pretty cool. This sounds sick. Oh shit, I'm dueling. No, I didn't mean to duel, I'm sorry. Can I just like switch to my other character? I apparently can't. 
What happens if I intentionally lose? I don't think I've ever lost a duel. I kind of see what happens. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna win. Not worth turning off my extras to lose. <clears throat> Yeah, go do something else. Okay, then I do have free reign in this area. Good to know. I wasn't sure if I would. I did the thing and I lost track of, uh, I lost track of, of what character tokens I've gotten here already. Let's hope not many. Actually, well, whatever. I'll find out later. I'll, I'll go about it the same way I normally do when I don't know. Oh, there's a student in peril back here. Very nice. Actually, hold on. Ah, uh, yes, the urinal kicks. Very important. Wow. That's kind of nuts. Ah, uh, Draco suit. I don't think I really need this, if I'm being honest. This seems unnecessary. Pouring water into this thing makes it absolutely explode. And it's full of dynamite. Very nice, always. Wizard journals, thank you. At least we weren't in old hog words where they just like shit on the floor or shit their pants and then magic the shit away. According to J.K. Rowling, that's what it was like before they invented toilets. Or before they adopted toilets, at the very least. Oh, I have Voldem. I have Moldywort with me. Yo, Moldywort. What's up? Show me what you have learned, Draco. Like, I've had a cadaver, bitch. Sectum Sempra. Now I have to go, given the amount of six. Oh, now I have to know. I thought you said how I have, you have to go. It's like, bro, what do you mean? Almost 400 sets, but solid 80 of them have been taken apart for MOCs. Okay, there's more. Good to know. Um, how much of this do I actually have to do? None of it, apparently. Yeet. <laughs> you always love to see it. Where's my boy? Where's my boy, Arthur? Arthur Weasley. I have a small little walk-in closet with shelves. Oh, imagine.
I have the, the closet that I'm currently in, and and my bed. That's that's about all I have in terms of uh, in terms of, of space. Well, I don't have a closet. I have a space for my desk, which I don't have in my actual room. Closet, remember? Yeah, but you have like the rest of your room, right? I don't have a bed, you just have a bunch of Legos. He sleeps on a pile of Lego sets. I wish I kept track of how many character shards I've gotten in this level, because I don't know if there's more after this. What the fuck? Let me in! You better fucking... Bro. Bro, I swear for God. I swear for God! What the fuck is this shit? I'm 90% sure it's not even fit for human habitation, given it also hasn't got a register vent or a window. I'm very okay. There we go. Thank God. I was I was about to I was about to go off. What's this guy? Oh, this is like a this is one of them wizard chests. Things. I was expecting it to roll around or possibly be rideable. I wasn't expecting it to explode. But sure. Oh, I think this ends the level, actually, now that I think about it. Well, might as well see it through to the end, just to be certain. Professor Slughorn, Ginny Weasley, and Drake Ipsu. Very nice. Still have under 90 square feet of space. What would that be? 90 would be like a 9 by 10 room. I don't know how to calculate this. I'm in a very oddly shaped room. Like, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, 1, 2, 3. I have 5 walls. It's sort of shaped like a weird. It's, it's, it's shaped like home plate, but like in, in strange. Proportions. I get that it's supposed to be an anvil, but I immediately thought backwards Minnesota. <laughs> what? Who thinks that guy? <laughs> also, welcome. <laughs> who, the fuck, who the fuck looks at any shape and thinks backwards Minnesota? I do not. I don't care. Like, what? The RV, I've sent you up more space. I don't. I wasn't paying attention to the size of the RV. I haven't seen you in a while, Kenneth. Welcome, welcome back. Glad to see you're still alive. That's from there. I've been there many times. Fair enough, I suppose. I mean, that would make you more familiar with the shape than, than others, but still. Like, even knowing that the anvil kind of looked like backwards Minnesota. 
I wasn't, uh, I still can't bring the shape of Minnesota to mind. Accurately. Even with that hint. I've got nothing. I don't know what Minnesota looks like. Have I gotten? I haven't gotten skin and barrel in here. Okay. So I just gotta make it work. I gotta work, work, work. I'm not gonna finish that. I'm gonna have a Vodka Dopper this plant. Can you fucking not? There we go. Who's to say it even exists? I don't know. Apparently this guy's been to Minnesota, but like... I don't know. Might be a government plant. You know, actually, I now remember what Minnesota looks like. Because it's right below Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of those states. It's bordering the Great Lakes. If I'm, am, I, am I right on that? I know it's north because of Minnesota, but you know. No? Okay, apparently I'm not right. I apologize for my, my gross error in, in where Minnesota lies. Minnesota is to the west of Wisconsin. Oh, you're, you're telling me no part of Minnesota is south of it. Are you are you willing to back up that claim? What do you are you are you willing are you willing to bet a, a sub on it? It's at the very top of the Midwest. Mm. So you're telling me no part of Minnesota is south of Wisconsin. Actually, let me double check to see if there's any students in peril around here. I don't think so. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> At least you have a brain. Some people would stick to their guns a little too hard. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any students in peril. Students in Paris? I know that Minnesota and Wisconsin are intertwined. Yeah, sounds about right. See, when I get something wrong, I make up bullshit to make myself right. I don't. I don't double down. Also, this is looking kind of sus. Shut up about Slughorn. No one cares. No one cares that you think Slughorn is a chair animal. I guess. Yeah, you made it very clear that you care, but none of us do. So, shush. Among us. I seriously can't. God, I have to go around? What is this bullshit? Who designed this? This game sucks. Doesn't even make sense. Very fast digging sounds. Who wants to play some Among Us in the awesome Discord server? Just in my server? Without me? I can't believe you did this. I did not lose the argument over it. I just keep arguing about it, and then you keep coming up with more bullshit. And I've, I've gotten tired of arguing about it. That's not losing. There's still a student in peril somewhere. Hmm. I'm trying to tell you that Minnesota touched the Canadian border. Okay, fair. I, I know who Dunkey is. Finally, a YouTuber that you talk about that I actually know who it is. 
For once. Yeah, this is a level. If you die, then how are you here? Checkmate, Atheus. Frog. Oh, is there a student in here? What the shit? How did you get in my instant swamp powder box, inside of my Weasley box? In a, in a, sorry, in a barrel, in the swamp that was inside of the, uh, the instant swamp powder box, that was inside of a Weasley box. How did you, how did he manage that? I'm impressed. I'm more impressed than any, like... Yeah, that area is an area in the hub. A lot of the levels overlap with areas in the hub. Fun fact. He also just appeared instead of sliding out. He's just like, oh, thanks for digging up that barrel for me. I was really in, in, in peril without that barrel. I was, I was assuming that was just Lego nonsense, but hey, maybe it's part of the lore. The whole crux of the hand. I need all three. All three character shards here. Hi, Dario. Why are you, why are you bitch like this, King Dice? I don't like you. One character shard. Ah, ah, ah. Yikes. Call that a yikes in the business. the fish. The fish didn't appear for a second. That was wild. I'm actually about to stream pretty soon, sir. So when I'm ready, do you want to get in the PC? I suppose we could. I'm fine. That, that sounds that sounds cool. Sure. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. Last night was ridiculous with how hard the LEGO City level was. Yeah, honestly. That shit was wild. Who designed that, honestly? I, I missed like three things, and it's like, nope, can't get a million now. When in every other one, I can just like drive around and then I get a million easy. Probably should have done that first, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I thought this niece was in the game. Nope, that was my that was my roommate. What VC? Probably my uh, my Discord, or maybe that was probably the like Lego, the Lego Legion get Discord. I'm guessing that would make the most sense actually. Hey, can you fucking work? Thank you. How much more strength with the load? Yeah, honestly. The What VC? The VC? Okay, I, I get what you're trying to do. I'm just like, what, what the fuck is he just saying the? Was that, a, was that an accident? Legionnaire Longhouse. Alright. Magic, please. Be me, please. Please. All right. The. 
So that's how I start all my assays with a big, big fancy the. It. There you go. One out of five. Fast magic is, is very nice in every situation, except for when I'm trying to dexterously manipulate things. Like when I'm trying to build a um, build a staircase or or attach those to a thing. You know what I'm trying to say. Only building a staircase is when it's really, really a problem. Every other scenario is not that bad. I don't, I don't start my essays. I mean, honestly, that's the truth. But yeah, well, usually whatever the problem is I have with fast magic, it's not, it's not enough of a problem for me to have to turn it off, you know. Is there a secret? Okay, it looked like there was a secret area back there. Anyway, did I speak parcel tongue? No, I don't think I've ever done parcel tongue with someone who couldn't speak it. Don't get me out of here. I like how it's still s but now it's in color. Come on. Come on, you bitch. There we go. Alright, time to play Simon. Need to pay attention. This is Simon, except they don't have different sounds for each color. It's all the same sound. It's kind of the worst. You know why Ron can do partial time? Thank you. Tell me, please. Oh, he just repeated what Harry had said. He can still do parcel tongue though. Like, like if if I was Ron, he'd be able to do this one without Harry there. Like, that's not that doesn't answer my question. The fuck? Oh, arms. I see something over there. I don't know if I can get it, though. Oh, wait, you're right. That drops down later when I hit the buttons. Right, right. Okay, okay. Okay. Is Bellatrix your favorite character or something? I mean, she's, she's a dark wizard. And it was the first one I unlocked, so it's just become habit. Like, sure, I could, play, I could play as Voldemort. I could play as fucking Lucius. Bellatrix was just the first one I got, so I'm playing as Bellatrix. <laughs> People don't know what you're talking about when you say things like that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kenneth. That is the, that is the response I, I wanted from that. Oh. Tom Riddle Orphanage. I thought that was just man. I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't talk about shit like that on stream. The only times I talk about it is when you brought it up. I don't know why you keep talking. Why why you think Hermione has balls? Like, come on, bro. I like how it, oh, if you do this here, it just sort of like switches back and forth between the characters. Oh, there's still more to be done. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit, oh fuck. Where's Dumbledore? Double, 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 please. Keep, keep sipping. Keep sipping, bitch. Keep sipping. Get another cup full from the from the water cooler. Come on.
A member of movies five to write is terrible. Mine is also terrible. My entire memory consists of these games. I don't think I've ever seen the actual movies. I've only seen clips of them. Oh, I need a nozzle, huh? Hey, fuck off. Get squirted. Flitwick reverts into age in the films. Yeah, Flitwick just becomes a different person. Just watch one, two, four, the goats move this. Yo, you right. Oh, shit. I need a... Where's one? One, one, Weasley. There we go. Where are you? Same actor, though. I know, it's very strange. Like, surely the actor would know what he looked like in the earlier movies, but guess not. Why well, can water make him go away? You have to hit him with any spell. I mean, if you get sprayed in the face with water, you wouldn't want to be there anymore. Beautiful. Let me add the schnoz nozzle. Schnoz nozzle. Same reason why Hogwarts look wild different in later films. Change of director. True. But like... It's the same character. Like surely that should be an exception. I wonder if he put up any resistance to the concept. No, I don't want to fight you. I'm just going to pick up this character shard and leave. I like how Hagrid's so big, he takes up the entire thing, so you can't even tell what his outfit is. Shit. Oh no, there's a student in peril somewhere. Fuck. Oh, god. I don't want to duel. I'm sorry, I don't- I don't want to duel. Fuck off. Oh, there he is. Don't worry, I gotcha. Bitch. All right, now let's duel. Psych. <laughs> There's no student in Peril Detector, not in this game. There's Peril Detectors in every other game that has Peril, but not this one. Or the previous Harry Potter. That's the easiest student apparel I've ever seen. Y yeah, honestly. It, it doesn't get much easier than that, but there's a few of those around where it's just like, hey, attack this guy. In in the um, actual castle, there's ones where it's just like, hey, this guy's stuck to a web. Shoot him. And then that's it. Awesome is lucky that the characters he talks about are all adults. Yeah. I know what I'm about. Wait, is Grigorovich Dark Wizard? I honestly have no idea. Where's, um... No, where, where's, where's my boy? There he is, Grindelwald. I remember one student was getting sprayed with water. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them are pretty fucking simple. At least it's not, um... Like it wasn't like a Batman 2. Where it's just, hey, alright, freeze the water. Alright, melt the guy. Alright, kill the plant. Alright, kill the penguin. There's like four different students, four different citizen in perils in the, over in the overworld, and you can just do them all. It's, it's the same thing every time. It's, it's annoying. Gregorovich is just a wand maker. That's what I thought. I knew he was the predecessor to someone. Or not the predecessor. The, the, um, rival? To Ollivander? You know what I mean. Although, you can tell he's a villain because of how he holds his wand. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There we go, I got this. Anyway. Lego Batman 1 was just beat up two to three games. Yeah, Lego Batman 1 was the first game to introduce Peril, so it kinda gets a it kinda gets a pass. He 
You just put it away during that. I know, I was looking at the camera. Do you think I didn't know that? You think I don't know the screen on the game I'm playing? Who do you think I am? What was your one? That was chopstick. How do I... Oh, I probably need to... Uh-huh. This over here? No, that's a rake. That's not what I would... That's not what I need at all. Budget wizard. This is the closest thing I have to a wand around. It's better than just nothing. Would you, would you like it if I, if I use my fucking... Use this thing? The fact that you put it away while you're doing it was funny. No, fuck you. I'm gonna continue to criticize you. Fuck. Lego Batman 1 gets every pass. Lego Batman 1's legendary. No bones about it. Okay, how the fuck do I make the hose work? It doesn't seem to connect to anything over here. I thought that's what it was going to be, but evidently not. Maybe it's, uh, water? No? Hmm. Oh. No, that's not a thing. Last time they had the six storylines concept, yeah. I don't remember what the Lego Batman... I, I've played so many Lego cities over the past, like, eight, nine games I've played. What the fuck did I do? I was just driving around... Whatever. I mean, I played it. Anyway, I've played so many um, Lego cities from all the Lego games. They all kind of blend together. Nothing really distinct makes them distinct. There's, like, a few that are like, okay, that's kind of cool. Like, like Lego Batman 2, it's, it's actually, like, sort of a, a mini version of... Uh, of, of Gotham, where it's got like the three islands and you have to go between them. It's pretty neat. But you know. Come on, bitch. Get on the wall. No! Motherfucker. Holy shit. Bro. Bro, just get, just get on the wall. Thank you. Thank Jesus Christ. I don't even need to do it, but fuck yeah. I have no idea what games you've done. Every game that has that came out before this one, I've done. I'll put it that way. Batman had two, Arkham and Wayne Manor. Wayne Manor was a minigame collection. Oh yeah, Batman was shit. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne Manor, Wayne Manor was complete garbage. I agree with you on that one. The minigame collection, that was the most annoying thing. Because you get put in Wayne Manor, and you're like, oh, I'm going to go around and get coins. And there's like three things you can do that give you like 3,000 coins. It's like, okay, I can, I can work with this. Maybe there's more. Maybe that opens up later. And then you find the two computers, and that gives you the rest of the money. Like, if they made it just a minigame collection, that's fine. But if they, but the way they did it is fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, Arkham Asylum was pretty decent. It was, yeah, yeah. Fucking Wayne Manor... Like, if it was just minigames, I could have given them that. It's like, that's something special. That's something different that you wouldn't expect. That's cool. Even though it's only the third game. Still, something different. Um, but, as it turned out, fucking... Mm. God. They, they, they tried to disguise it as an actual level. And then you get, like, half... You get, you get, like, a good ten minutes into it. And you, uh, and you find out that, that no, it's just two minigames that you have to do. And you do the one minigame, and then it sends you to the other computer. So you're like, okay, that was a weird, like, teleport thing? Okay, I guess. And you just pass off the other computer. At least I did. And then I go back to that computer, and that one has a different minigame. The one that I came out of. Like, what? Who designed this? Which went back to having a character vendor. What do you mean a character vendor? You mean a guy who sells characters? In which case, yes, that's in this game. That's how you buy characters in this game.
I thought it was the exit terminal to get on the roof. Exactly! It's the design is so shit. The idea is fine. The idea is okay. Like, at best. But the design is so poorly done, it's not even... Good lord. What's the dog doing? All the other sub characters somewhere in the map that you have to find and buy. No, no th th this game doesn't. Neither of the Harry Potters do. Um, I actually don't remember if, Le if Lord of the Rings does. Um, yeah. So th th that is an annoying thing, but it's not. It's not in every game. It's just in a lot of them. If Lord of the Rings has a. Uh, how they do new characters in Lord of the Rings. Like a Lord of the Rings. I'm not certain. It's been a while, and I've only played it once. I meant all the newer ones. I mean, yeah. I couldn't tell you. It seems like a lot of them would have it, but I honestly do not remember for most of them. It's such an ancillary part of the game. I, I, I think some of the later ones just let you buy it from the character menu. Like, oh wait, not this, but the character selection menu. What, what, what the dog doing? There we go. Oh, that's what I'm doing. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure that's how LEGO Marvel works. And LEGO Marvel 2, for that matter. And Avengers. That's the newer, those are the newer games that I've played the most. I like the LEGO Movie way of getting characters, because you can buy them from the menu if you want to find them in the world. Really? I haven't played... I've tried to play LEGO Movie once, and it broke so many times I kind of gave up. So, I don't remember much about it. I know Incredibles does it. I have not- I didn't even know Incredibles was a thing until I started playing this, uh, started on this mission. Lego Incredibles completely slipped under my radar. Oh, I have to attack him. I didn't even realize. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off, assholes. I didn't realize uh, firing would fire backwards. Anyway, baby's first Lego game, really? I guess it makes sense, but like, not what I expect. Not what I would expect. One, 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 one. Juan Weasley. Let's go outside. I like how it's just dancing in the death. Wait, what the fuck? No! Oh god! <laughs> you can't do that, Lego game. You can't do that. You, there's stuff out there. You can't. You can't. You can't have a tentacle come out of the box and pull her mind again. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Oh god, that caught me off guard. I hadn't seen that one before. I saw the pie and I saw the fist, but... <laughs> open mystery packs that you buy and open? Oh my god. That sounds terrible. 
I'm so sorry for you. That's a dark wizard thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Bah! Let's go! Okay, the mystery packs thing might not be too terrible if they actually, like. If, if duplicates are not a thing you can get, I could see that being okay. If not, that just sounds like a pain in the ass. I'm assuming if it's like any other, like, okay, you get an unlimited, you get so much money, like, an un unlimited amount of money, you can just buy character packs until you get all the characters you want. It just sounds like it would take the fucking age. Oh, you know what I didn't pay attention to when I was entering this level? How many character shards I need. Hey, fuck off. You, don't you know who I am? I think Lego Lord of the Rings is like Lego Batman too, where you get the characters around the map. That makes sense. That that rings a bell. That that sounds like something they do. I can tell how old someone is by answering by. I can tell how old someone is by them answering one question. Jesus, that was hard to read, and it isn't how old are you? I mean. To be fair, that question also works. I would I would say try to guess my age based on it, but um my age is in the description for the stream, so I don't think it'd be much of a mystery. Which is the better part of mar Lucky Charms, the marshmallows or the cereal? Are you Are you serious? I, I can tell what your thought is on it. And I think you're wrong. Because it's definitely the marshmallows. If you wanted the cereal, just get Cheerios. If you think the cereal part's better, just fucking eat Cheerios. Like, seriously. <laughs> Are you telling me you enjoy the fucking bland ass? How do you... I guess you are the one who fucking cooks the hard tack, so I, I, I guess I shouldn't accept your taste on anything. Honey Nut Cheerios are sweet. Regular Cheerios aren't. Regular Cheerios taste exactly the same as the cereal because they're made of the same shit. Literally the same shit. God, you really are the type of guy to be like, I enjoy plain oatmeal with nothing because I'm a man. You've never seen... I guess you are Canadian, so it's a little bit different. But, yeah, there's there's Cheerios and then there's Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> honey Nut Cheerios are the ones that are sweet. Actually, I think they just call them Honey Cheerios now. I think they dropped the nut. <laughs> I remember seeing a uh, a news article about, about them dropping the nut. And edit to the question, without milk. Same answer. The fuck do you mean? Like, just eat fucking like special K or something. Eat something healthy. Don't don't eat Lucky Charms and then say, "Hmm, I prefer the bland part." Like, if you're gonna be an adult, be an adult. Don't don't try to ruin. Or don't don't buy something just to enjoy the bland part of it. Like, there are bland foods you can buy that are just bland foods. <laughs> Special K tastes like shit. Oh yeah, but the plain ass cereal from Lucky Charms doesn't? I'm 
quick go to the bathroom. I just... I need to take a break. <laughs> I need to take a break before I start this argument with you, but Jesus Christ. The fuck you mean it has flavor? Is it fucking wheat flavor? Oh, I should probably flip this back. Hold on. Cornflakes don't have a flavor, but the bland ass cereal that goes with that goes with the Lucky Charms does have a flavor. I'm not even gonna argue that. I, I can't muster the willpower to argue with that. Cause <laughs> Yeah, I know the origin of cornflakes. <laughs> it's it's the origin of Kellogg's as a whole. And all of their bran comes from the same place. Like, sure, it's a different grain. It's still grain. Grain doesn't have that much flavor on its own. Cornflakes is more flavor than wheat. I swear to God it does. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. You know, maybe it's just because I haven't had Lucky Charms in a while. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. 
maybe my, my child brain when I had Lucky Charms last, uh, did not recognize the cereal for the greatness it is. The nice savory flavor of cereal. It's part of the god that doesn't exist. Of course. Cereal parts of Lucky Charms just have a flavor. It's savory. Are you sure that is not just the contrast between the cereal and the marshmallows? Because if you eat a marshmallow and then you eat just the cereal, you'll, you'll yeah, by, by contrast, it will be savory. I can give you that. Mildly salty with a hint of sweetness. What the fuck? Alright, I'm making some sort of ungodly mixed drink right now. I ran out of Sprite, so I, I have to substitute with, with vanilla Coke. So I have half Sprite, half vanilla Coke, and then some fucking berry gin. <laughs> when Lucky Charms, I eat the, the charms separately. Alrighty then, I'm just about to set up on my own if you want to hop into Legion VC, I'll join you once Discord loads. Hell yeah. Alright, let's let's try the fucking concoction I've made. I'm scared, honestly. I just smelled the gin. I eat the charms last, of course. It's kind of like a... what the hell? It, it's weirdly chocolatey. Nothing in here is chocolate flavored. Why the fuck does this taste chocolatey? <laughs> that is odd. Not terrible, but very odd. It is, um... A Bombay Bramble. Uh, blackberry and raspberry flavored gin. I don't know how vanilla coke, Sprite, and berry gin comes together to make a chocolatey flavor. I'm a mixologist. Yeah, it's like dark chocolate. That is strange. That is very strange. Anyway. Anyway, Grind Grindelwald Young is kind of a hottie. Not gonna lie. Honestly, cocktails are modern day alchemy, truly. The, the, the most astounding thing I ever did is combining apple juice with vodka and it ends up tasting like plain water. For some reason, vodka and apple juice combined cancel each other out and it tastes like nothing. It tastes like cold water. That's it. <laughs> That's alchemy, baby. <laughs> Oh, is that what we're doing here? I'd imagine it'd make a predator vision. Apple juice and vodka? Maybe. What the fuck? God damn it, I hit A. I'm so upset. The cocktail? There's a cocktail called a Predator Vision? I don't think that's a, a common knowledge one, gotta be honest. I don't think that's a normal cocktail that people make. Normal recipe is downing Nyquil with vodka, then you shotgun a Red Bull and it give you actual Red Bull. Jesus Christ. Your experiences are not universal. <laughs> then you go into cardiac arrest, yeah. By actual predator vision, you mean that you're just gonna be seeing fucking bright colors flashing everywhere.
Red Catermole. There he is. Who's my boy? Here's what I'm concerned about. There's that blue over there. That's still pointing. All the way off to the left. And I don't know how to get it. Reg is in... Oh, Reg. Reg Catermal. It's Harry Potter. Do you expect me to think that it's actually like... Do you expect me to make leaps of logic on how to pronounce a name? No, I pronounce it as it's written because that's, that's the only way to avoid madness. Just like we have... Yes, we have... We have... <laughs> I just realized. We have Ron dressed as Reg Catermall. We have Harry dressed as Albert Runcorn. And we have Hermione dressed as Scarf. <laughs> Very nice. I know how Hermione is pronounced, because... It's pronounced Hermione. Like, that much is... If I'm aware of how to pronounce the name, I'll pronounce it that way. But when I read it, I'm not going to make any guesses. I'm going to read it as it's spelled. I'm just going to continue onward and hope that blue isn't something I get right now. I hope it's in the next room, actually. Ah, it is! I made the right decision. To be honest, when I, uh, first read the, like, if I... Okay, so my, my brother read the books before the movie came out. I read the books after the movie came out, so I was I was cursed with the knowledge that it was Hermione. He didn't, and he called it Hermione. My mom called it Hermione. So, yeah, that that is how you pronounce Harry Potter names, what you don't know. Like that. Well, that bullshit involved. Ah, very nice. Stick a flower to a window and get rid of the rain, of course. I saw when I was 13, my brother, same age, couldn't pronounce the character's name for the life of him. Kid Fisto from Clone Wars to him as Kid Disco. You know, that's a great name. I, I, I know someone who, when I was trying to remember the name Kylo Ren, came up with Gylo Man. It's Gylo Man! I called Ron Ron. You know, I can't believe you I can't believe you mispronounced Ron so badly. Huh? Alright, we got one. Student in peril and uh, Hermione Mafalda. Ron. Nice. Why are they all white? What? Why are all who white? All of the white? Yeah, it's because this is a J.K. Rowling property. So everyone's white. Except for the, um, the racial stereotypes they throw in. That's a very funny. Hmm. 
I still haven't found the Slytherin one. Is there more to this level? I think there is. The second get to rolling an R is a sound from the throat. Is Umbridge bussin'? No. Umbridge is not bussin'. Umbridge is the opposite of bussin', I can tell you that much for sure. I mean, I grew up in Southern California, so I know how to roll an R. I know how to roll an R. Rolling R at the end of a word is a lot harder. Also grew up in Southern California. Yeah, but you're an... Well, I mean... I, for, I forgot that you weren't... You, I was about to insult you. Um, I forgot that you didn't say that you knew, knew how to roll ours. Or you didn't know how to roll ours. Like, king... King guys over here. I'm in Central Canada. I have a speech impediment, so... Yeah, 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 that's fair. See, if I combined the... Grew up in Southern California of King Squidman with the can't roll ours of you, then, I, that, then that's someone I can insult. Both of you have your own. Well, actually, I don't know if King Squidman can roll his ours or not. But, point being, <laughs> both of you have reasons why I wouldn't mock you. At least about this. I'd mock you for other things, but. What the fuck? Why is this guy so goddamn fast? Oh, dude, he's rolling his ours so well. Holy shit. I wish I could roll my R's that well. Most of the foreign culture I know is Bangladesh because for some reason a lot of them like moving to Saskatchewan. Interesting. Huh. I, that, that is not something I would have put together, but sure. I believe it. Get down here. Avada Kedavra, bitch. We have at least 25 big Ludeshi's IRL. What the hell? It's crazy. Oh, that's why blue comes out so fast, because there's no travel time. It's literally just spray. Hmm, I get it now. So when it's blue, I have to rotate. There we go. Ah, oh, that's where the Slytherin one was. That's you got to Squidman. You do, you expect Squidman to be be well versed in other cultures or memes? You know Squidman. He's good at neither. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 Are you shitting me? I had to go around the other way. I'm so upset. Ugh, I have to do the entire level over again. Because I missed one at the end that you only have one chance to get. Fucking dumb. Ugh, I have to restart. Yeah, I know. Came to that conclusion already, King Dice. I swear. Hey, you re remember your rules. Remember your rules, King Squid Man. Squid Mini T. Alright, we're speed running this bitch. King Dice. I hate you. Like, legitimately. <laughs> Fucking target. Chase eggs can be annoying like games to get the collectibles. Yeah. At least some of them have the good, the good fucking, the good sense to be, when you, when you fall, you go back to the beginning. At least some of them have that in, in mind. Other ones, not so much. Who's hyped for the new Son Sonic movie? Of course I'm hyped for the new Sonic movie. It's got knuckles in it. Some of them are simply at the start of the level. Yeah, that's true. 
I mean, honestly, the chase sections that you can't repeat that are at the end of the level are the worst, like this one. I also haven't watched the first Sonic movie, but I've heard it's good. So I know the good memes are gonna come from the new one. So this is Arthur. What the fuck? There we go. That's not even... Where's the lamp? There it is. Even for LEGO Star Wars 3, the going marks the chase section that's collectible at the end of the section, so it's not really a big deal. Yeah. I do not remember what the chase was in, uh, in, in LEGO Star Wars 3. Gotta be honest, no idea. Do not have an inkling as to what the chase was. Me and Jones 1 had two chases. How do you keep track of this shit? I barely remember what to do in the level that I just beat. Ah, oh, Geonosian yeah. zombies, right, right, right. That checks out. Boulder chase in the water and the mines chase. Okay. I mean, I remember the bullet trace, so I knew I had at least one. Remember the left side of the statue, yep. I'm not as dumb as I look. What is Enhanced HUD? Oh, you get to, um, give me a, a... Well, it has it in the description. Read the description. Do you get that? Click on it. It'll give you a description. Hmm. But yeah, it basically, you get to get a, a GIF or image that you would like to add to my stream layout for the rest of the stream. It has to be TOS, obviously. Um, and you don't get to choose where it goes or how big it is, but you get to put it on there for the rest of the stream. Sub-brick intelligence, all right, New Vegas-looking ass over here. Avada Kedavra, motherfuckers. Ministry of Magic Workers were, like, fucking dead. 750 kind of cheap. Mm, true. You want to blow all your coins? Uh, all your studs enhancing my, my HUD for one stream? Go right ahead. Yeah, you don't have 57 yet. Vertical or horizontal, my friend. Right, I still need to update that to make it uh, actually require you to give a uh, an answer. Uh, transform, flip, or not horizontal. Transform, flip, vertical. Oh, I'm I'm selecting the wrong thing. Hold on, that would do it. Uh, I need that. There we go. Transform, flip, vertical. There we go. Oh, uh, it's time for me to join the big seat. Right, forgot about that. Hello, friend. Oh, God. That... I guess uh, I was looking at your stream on mobile, so there's a good amount of delay there, but, like, the second I, uh, like, reminded you in chat, all of a sudden you're hello-friending me in here. That well, yeah. <laughs> really... I Almost mean, you started. reminded me in chat, so what did you expect? Well, of course. Well, it's just the delay. I thought it would take a second or two more. No, the uh, the chat is always real time. It's the stream that's delayed. Yeah. So whenever you send me a message in in what? real time, yeah. I get it immediately. <laughs> Which I guess this is convenient a little bit. 
Yeah. Kind of I think it's better than the other way around. I mean, also, you can't stream real time the other way around, so <laughs> it's impossible the other way around. It's better than both of them being delayed, rather. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Well, I kind of already know, but how are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Just vibing, just chilling. How about you? Yes, vibing. Yeah, it definitely has been a while since we've sat down and had a nice chat. Did you yeah. catch the Super Bowl by any chance? No. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the answer literally all of my online friends on Twitch give me. I'm like the only one who watches football. God, imagine watching football on ironically. Could not be me. It, it is I might, I might watch the Super Bowl for the ads, but... <laughs> no, those have been worse in the recent years, yeah. too. My dad, my mom, and I, we all sat down and watched the Super Bowl. And none of us are, like, fans of any of the teams that made it this year. And mm -hmm. That goes for most human beings alive, because it was the Bengals and the Rams, the two teams yeah. that... Nobody thought would make it to the Super Bowl, literally ever. <laughs> True. But they did. Though, to be fair, the and, Rams uh, have been kind of big for... They, they, didn't they move to LA recently? Wasn't that like, kind of a big thing? Yeah. I was like right at the end of my association with people who actually care about football. LA scholarships. <laughs> LA athletes. So it was bound yeah. to happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like people... I mean, it was just like the, the team that they beat was really impressive. Because the... Uh, Bengals took out Kansas City Chiefs, which were supposed to be like surefire for the Super Bowl. Huh. And then the it was a California versus California. Rams took out the 49ers from San Francisco. And that was like kind of big because everybody thought the 49ers were a lot better. But yeah, yeah. I watched the Super Bowl and the halftime show. Halftime show was decent, but I was kind of hoping for Wrath God from Eminem, and we did not get it. We got eight yeah. miles, which is still good, but True. not what I wanted. Halfway, halfway through you describing what what um, football teams are good and meant to be in the Super Bowl, it just turned turned into this sort of like high pitched whining in my ears. <laughs> wah 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 wah. Sounds like the after effects of a flashback. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was like a uh, grenade blew off, uh, like tens of meters to your right, and the strap yeah. got in your ear. <laughs> or it's at the end of Baby Driver, where he just shoots right next to his ears to completely lose his hearing, which is very yeah. rude. He could have just shot him. This is very rude. If you're planning to kill him, just kill him instead of yeah. making him deaf, and then you have a very good getting point, killed that. by his girlfriend. <laughs> Spoilers for Baby Driver, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it, come on, that was like 2016. I don't have to give a spoiler warning for that. I'm just saying. Some people haven't seen it. Probably. And those people are a sad, lonely bunch, because that's a good move. It's one of my favorite movies. True. You know what? I've probably asked this question a million times, because this is a question I enjoy asking people. But what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Um, there are probably movies that are. What's the word? Good. I, I don't want to say better, but there are probably movies that are that are more critically acclaimed. But my my favorite movie is um Bad Times the L R L. That shit's good. Yeah, we've had this conversation because I remember that title. I've never seen ah, that movie. Yeah. But I remember you talking about it. I, I I've talked to multiple people about it, and basically no one has heard of it. Only one person I've talked yeah. to about it knows what it is. And that's because he worked Wait. at the movie theater that it came out in at the same time as me. Yeah, and it, it's, like, not weird to, like, have your favorite movie not be a cinematic masterpiece. Because yeah. it, it's very basic people who say that their favorite movie is, like, The Godfather or something like that. Yeah. There's no shame in changing it up a little bit. So, uh, considering I didn't remember, I don't expect you to, but do you remember what my favorite movie is? Oh, I remember us having this conversation, and I can, I can think of the concept of the movie. I do not remember the title. All right, what's the concept? You know, that was a poor way of phrasing it. Gotcha. <laughs> Caught red-handed. By concept, I mean like, I, I have synesthesia. That's something that I, that's my brain does. 
where sort of like words and concepts turn into shapes and colors in my mind. Like, I can think of the shapes like, and colors, but I can't translate them backwards. <laughs> no offense, but like a dog. What? <laughs> that, that's how dogs retain memories is like colors. Is it? Shapes. How do we know it's that? Very... <laughs> like dogs don't have actual memories whatsoever. They just associate certain things with certain emotions. And of course, also they see like less colors than we do. Well, yeah, I know that about the less colors thing, but how do we know how their memories are processed? It's kind of a side tangent, but what? <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's just some uh, clinical psychologist running test or something. All right. Anyway, um, but yeah, not kind kind of like a dog, not really. <laughs> a little bit. That's unfortunate. It's more just so, like so what... this. This movie. This movie is very green and orange. If that means anything. <laughs> Which it doesn't. Green and orange? Uh, yes. Well, I'll give you a hint. It's not green and orange, but it's very yellow and red. Red and yellow. Do those colors mean it? Oh, yeah, it's the fucking McDonald's thing, right. Hell yeah. There it is. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, uh, I got out. Oh, yeah, so context. As you know, I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild recently. It's actually my first playthrough, but I've already got the Master Sword because I focus on getting hearts and not stamina. Nice. And I've been doing the Master Sword Trials, which is like the DLC to make the Master Sword. Oh, yeah, that's it. That shit's I already hard. beat... Yeah, it, it is really tough. I already beat beginning and middle trials, and now I'm on the final trials, and I'm just starting it now. So, mm. shit's about to get crazy. Ooh, all and right. they popped me into a room where they gave me a metal weapon, but it's also a thunderstorm, so I have to not... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ow. That's, that's rough, but kind of cool. A little bit. I'm just gonna throw a bomb at the skeleton and steal his weapon. Bam. Can I take Get a weapon no. that isn't made of metal? Uh, his, the skeleton's weapon is wood, so that one's safe. Mm. Oh, I guess I can't have that arm. The founder, yeah, that's the that's the one that we're talking about. Sorry, I'm looking at my chat. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I mean, like, who is obviously who is voice bro? To talk to your chat. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. One of my viewers is asking who is voice bro. I'm assuming they're asking about you. This is Kyle yeah, Keta. He's another bro. streamer. <laughs> I'm assuming Where's that's voice bro. <laughs> Where's the last skeleton? Or is it not a skeleton at all? Oh, As a side note, I just made a ghost dance party, yeah. so that's pretty cool. Bam. So, the trick to the Master Sword Trials that someone in my chat a few streams ago taught me is that anytime you see a tree, you gotta knock oh, yeah, you can get wood. the wood from it. Because you can actually cook, the wood. cook a single pile of wood in a cooking pot to make rock hard food. Which yeah, actually does heal, yeah. Yeah, it only stores a, a quarter of a heart, but you it's get more than anything that you get otherwise. Wood. So, yeah. Mm -mm. The thing that bothers me the most is that there's no monster drops. Like, you don't get mm -mm. book goblin horns or guts or anything. And, like, mm -mm. I don't need those things, but it just weirds me out that there's nothing to collect after I kill something. Gotcha. I can see how that would be disconcerting. <laughs> Voice Bro is playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Bink. Be quick enough to stop the lightning strike before it happens. Gotta be quicker than that. There was just like a rusty shield on the ground about to explode, but I picked it up. Okay. Nice. Hello there, Mr. Polar Bear 2222. I do love polar bears. The chat animal. 
the tallest bears of all types of bears. The tallest? That, 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 how do they measure that? Like standing up tall or? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah, mean like... Just, walk around oh, just their hind two legs all the time. I mean, yeah, they do, but... It's not, not nearly as much as we do. For reference. Oh, yeah, of course not. There's not an animal that does. I guess besides kangaroos. Yeah. But, uh, uh, basically, the I, I, reason I said tallest and not biggest is that they're not the heaviest. Mmm, that's fair. It always brings into question how you measure it. They're the heaviest. They're just short. Grizzly bears are the Italians of bears. That's a way of putting it. <laughs> Correct. Polar bears the are Italian. bear. The Italians of bears. So why the 2222 or 2222? Whichever you want. He really likes the number two. It's a decent number. Solid number for sure. Oh, you know what? I could have used the Cryonis. You beat Breath of the Wild. Round of applause, everybody. We have a gamer Squid in the chat. Squidman is evidently not familiar with uh, with with the Fantastic Beast movies, as as Grindelwald is. He's asking who Grindelwald is. I haven't watched or read any Fantastic Beast stuff either. You know that's fair. I never got past yeah. those darn trials. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Grindelwald so you owned the Elder Wand movie. before Dumbledore. Well, yeah. Very few people 100% the game because that is a time commitment for sure. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of Korok seeds. Well, yeah, I I am. <laughs> I, that's the only reason I don't have 100% in hmm. like the tag of the stream is that I am in no way getting all the Korok oh, yeah? seeds. I'll do oh, yeah, probably not. everything else but the Korok seeds. Grindelwald was also in the original movies. Yeah, barely. Grindelwald was mentioned in the original movies. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like, he shows up, like, once. It's not really a big deal. I did recently <laughs> switch from using Twitch Studios Beta to OBS. And, like, once you figure it out, it is so much better. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm using fucking Streamlabs OBS, which is even better than that one, in my opinion. Even though they got into controversy for basically stealing the name and layout of, of OBS, they just kind of made it more streamlined. There's a possibility we're using the same one, and I, I'm not sure if I'm using the Streamlabs one. Is it is it the one that's like fucking blue and black? Uh, kinda. Maybe. What what does it say in the top left? Does it say OBS or Streamlabs desktop? <laughs> OBS. Okay, you're, you're using OBS then. <laughs> also got into modding and he do not regret a thing. Modding Breath of the Wild? That does sound not pretty cool. I've seen some cool videos about modding. When it comes to modding, I always think like Minecraft and Skyrim are the first two that come to mind. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I guess like any here. game can be modded. Oh, could be the spider, I guess. Yeah, any game can be modded. It's surprising how much you can mod on, uh, ah, no, it's surprising how much you can mod with, um, Switch games. like. I've seen like multiplayer mods for fucking uh for like Odyssey and that sort of thing. It's all kind of sick. Like multiplayer or Mario and Luigi? Or like multiplayer where you can have like up to 16 other people in the same map. Like I you, they're like I don't all Mario. Yeah, they're all Mario. You can dress them up different, but they're all Mario at the but end of the day. I guess that's true. I forgot those outfits. Although yeah. you wouldn't recommend modding your Switch. Yeah, no, and uh, I got my Nintendo Switch the... late in the game, so King Dice, my serial I... number is not for modding. Yeah. Could break it, just used an emulator. <laughs> is it legal? I know Who what knows? the reward for the uh, I know is. for a fact that it's not, but, you know, it's not like I'm gonna report a polar bear. You're not God affected fucking... by laws. Yeah, polar bears can pirate anything they want. Polar bears can literally do anything. Polar bears are very anti-capitalist by nature. If my wife was cheating on me with a polar bear, I don't think I would stop her. Although I'd probably have to report that you to the police. That is bestiality. You, you, you wouldn't stop her or you couldn't stop her? Those are different things. <laughs> well, all right. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. The lightning just struck the electric 
I bet for the keys, and it, there was fire everywhere, but it's still alive. Mr. Luke CV1, <laughs> nice. our very own American pilot, welcome back to the stream. Hey, hey you, with the one one eye, get over it. Oh, well, you fight the mind. fucking uh, you got Hinox? You got too close. I, I'm probably gonna die. I'm just gonna let it kill me and restart. That's fine. That's that's quitter talk. It's not quitter talk. It's let me do this again talk. That's quitter talk. You're giving up on this attempt. Speed it's quitting. You're quitting. Talk, but I'm not doing this for speed. I'm just doing it for parts. That's a runner talk, apparently. Yeah, runner talk. That, that was that was a bad run. <laughs> again. It is a little convenient, but it doesn't even let you save during the trial, so you just go back to right where you were before the pedestal. You gotta click A a few times and off we go. Oh yeah. It is a cool idea to... Because, like, uh -huh. there were a million complaints about how the magic was super weak when the base yeah. game came out. And it's like, man, they have, like, a million weapons stronger than this in the base game. So it's like, alright, let's, sure. let's get you a way to make it stronger. Yeah, but we're gonna make it real hard. Hey, you, you gotta work for it, for sure. Where to? Where weapon? Weapon. Weapon. Arm. Is a weapon. Kick. Damn. Ow. Gotcha. But yeah, King Dice, I know what the fucking reward for all the Gorak scenes is. It's a big golden pile of shit. We all know. Interesting. It's common knowledge at this point. Technically, it's like better for me to leave the guy with the bow alive for longer. Because he has, you know, all enemies have unlimited arrows and he's just going to keep shooting. Oh, smart. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Make a good point. But also, I don't have all night. <laughs> True. How you doing, Ken? Uh... Doing pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything like extraordinary happened today. I, I always have this problem at the end of the day where I can't remember much. I guess I did, because as Oz knows, I work at Walmart, and Walmart yeah. has a thing where you can go like do certain online. Like online college stuff, I know you pay for it. So I did put in application for it. We're gonna hear back in the seventh attempt business days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Target has the same thing, but I don't know how it works. Yeah, Target's kinda got the same thing, but it's like, it's also got fucking, like you have to work there for six months, and you have to have like no write ups. And all this bullshit. I've looked at the role, at the uh, I benefits. At Walmart the summer before I went to my freshman year of college, and then oh, that's a good point. For like a year, and then I came back. So technically, does that I'm count as you working there that entire time? Huh? Does that count like as you working there that entire time? Yes, yes. That, that's what I was uh, about to get to. <laughs> like in the Walmart Incredible. record, it does technically count that I've been working there since June 2020. <laughs> Congrats on that, thank you very much. Uh, I guess... Other... <laughs> trying to scratch my brain for other things that... How do you get write-ups? You get write-ups uh, for doing things wrong. Besides that... When, when, when you, you fuck up, they're like, we're gonna write you in the system, and if you get another one, you get fucked up. Recently, like, and I've never seen it I tried your upside-down game. It how, did it, how did it work for you, Nerd of Chaos? But it's like, the worst writing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, the worst show writing I've ever seen. It's like, the best, worst show I've ever watched. Wait, for what? Lost. It's like oh, show Lost? Where... Yeah, Lost is a fucking yeah. mess. <laughs> it, it is very messy, but, like, I, I love it. It, it, it. It's a lovely mess, is what it is. I'm pretty, I, if I remember correctly, I watched, like, a video about this, and no one who made it wanted it wanted to make it. Like, no one who was working on it wanted it to be made. <laughs> they all hated it. Probably should have been... Uh, what season am I on? I guess we... I, I just started season... Pretty recently. 
Because, like, the episode I just watched before coming to do the stream was a collision where, like, the sur like the main group of survivors that we've been with the entire series, and then the group from the tail of the plane that everybody thought was dead, they finally came together. Ah, uh, Australian. Sorry. You know, that's, that's a good idea. Australian Times is a good, a good meme. Um, okay, that makes sense. Well, I didn't expect to be talking to you, but thanks for watching the stream. I definitely appreciate it. That's funny. Has it been you the entire time, or was it Luke at the beginning? Oh, different person, same account? Yeah, it's Luke's girlfriend using his account. Huh. It's a interesting. Nice. What? That was a bad roll. Not a pro gamer over here. <laughs> I mean... Listen. I got the beginning and middle trials done. I did the beginning one first try. The middle trials, I, I lost, like I died a bunch in like the first few levels, but once I made it through, I was like, stream, it went through. Who is voice bro? I am voice bro. Uh, Kyle was that fucking loss? Fuck you. Or you. You might hear Oz call me Jacob, because that's my actual name. I didn't know your name was Jacob. Was not <laughs> it is Jacob. We've had, I guess it's been a while since we talked, but we did talk, had that conversation. Did we? Like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just put Kyle Kenneth because I like DBZ and I like the pun of Kyle Kenneth Kenneth. But yeah, my real name is Jacob. It is a good man. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good one. Like, uh, it is definitely lost on people who are not DBZ people, but those who are I'm... really appreciate it. Like, yeah, I'm gotten, not a DBZ yeah, person, but I'm familiar with the terminology. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've gotten VIP day one in new streamers chat just for having the username before do i know the way yeah i do know the way my brother hold on is, is fucking king squidman in your chat or is this a different guy 100 percent god damn it right on the money. god damn it <laughs> he had to say one thing and i immediately knew who it was i'm guessing this guy's a regular for you yep he got banned for a short period, so if that tells you anything. <laughs> what did he do? He kept, he kept calling me by my real name, despite me telling him not to. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, because I only know you as Oz, but I don't need to know your real name, because Oz is pretty sick. Yeah, he only knows about it because there are people who know me in real life who watch my stream and then refer to me as that. You see, I do not have that friend, because I did not keep a single friend from high school. Man. Well, I mean, yeah. Most of my friends are, are like, Discord friends or co-workers. So. Well, yeah, like, I, I've definitely made some friends at work, but they're not, like, watch my Twitch stream at 12, 13 a.m. friends. Ah, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Whenever I think about uh, my coworkers as friends, I do think about this one specific memory, and uh, this guy... Did you say guy, one of my coworkers, but Hold I'm on, not did even you, that. Did you just say memory? <laughs> Shut up. I have a speech in memory, too. Anyways, okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like I had to take speech classes when I was in elementary school, and they helped slightly. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, th there's uh, this guy at work. He's one of my coworkers. He has the exact same position as me. We're on the same team, and it's not even one of the ones I'm super close to. But one time, uh, we were both unloading the truck on the truck line, and like a girl I was into at the time was walking by, and I like threw him a box that he needs to put on oh. his side and he, and he <laughs> is like no, just, just let me finish he's much taller than me much buffer, buffer than the guy but he pretended like it was super heavy and went oh. way down low when he caught it nice so that was pretty cool of him. I, I see what i heard was i threw him and you paused for like half a second and i immediately thought that was the end of the sentence <laughs> So, you yeah, know, I just casually like, uh, threw him. <laughs> a girl I was into at the time was walking by, so I, I, I just picked up and threw the biggest guy in the room. <laughs> yeah, I threw him. You gotta, you gotta threw... assert your dominance. If I could, I would. <laughs> Got the what, I, what do you like you? audios to sync. So, I'm assuming Nerd of Chaos is also an awesome viewer. Um, yes, you... he is also just another streamer. Who likes to support other streamers? Awesome. He's a homie. 
Well, apparently he got our stream audio to sync, which is... I, I don't know how you did that. That's impressive. Actually. Yeah, that's really very impressive. impressive. Oh, you're one of his mods. That's very cool. Yeah, he's one of my mods. Nerd of Chaos, what do you typically stream? Mario Maker? Oh god, that game is hell. Yeah, so he's been streaming Pokemon Legends RCS recently. I've only seen like two of his streams. <laughs> he's always he's always streaming when I'm at work. Mine. Oh god. Passing. Also, oh, apparently nothing. one of my viewers just had a brick throw through his kitchen window because the, a crackhead thought the light was looking at him funny. Hold on. That's quote, nice. quote, a crackhead just threw a brick through my kitchen window because the light was quote unquote looking at him funny. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, I'm glad you agree with me that Mario Maker is hell. I, I imagine that you've had to suffer through much It's hell. Than people, I have. Twitch, yeah. Twitch viewers like people uh, suffering on stream. Yeah, I mean, like, definitely breaks in the views. And so does Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Well, first Pokemon in general, but also Pokemon Legends Arceus. I've been seeing a lot of people streaming that recently. Mm -hmm. I haven't even gotten the game for myself, but I, I'll probably... Oh, that's a chest. I thought it was a shield. I'll grab it when I'm think... done uh, with Breath of the Wild. The first time, the this first time I'm gonna get more than like three oh. views. The first time I'm gonna get more than like three views because the game I'm playing is when uh, Skywalker Saga comes out. Yeah. For sure. Other than that, people are just like, "Huh, I wonder about this game," and then I get like one viewer. It's like, "Oh, you're playing Lego Indiana Jones? Cool." <laughs> they get one person. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like they, they pop in. Oh, Lindy, Lego Indiana Jones. That's nice, and then they leave. Yeah, and then there's like I mean, fucking. I I have one person who came in because they kept giving me facts about Lego Indiana Jones and the movies that they were based on, and then she just kind of stuck around. Yeah, if you can find people who are like super fans, they'll typically stick around. Okay, this lightning is draining mm -hmm. my health. I would prefer if the lightning went somewhere else permanently. Hey, come on, come on, Squidman. You were, I was playing Lego Indiana Jones two when you showed up. Don't 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 lie to the viewers. <laughs> Lego Star Wars is where it's at. Correct. That was Luke piping up because that was what he Hell was yeah. streaming. Hell yeah. I stream all the Lego games and just about nothing else. Uh, that is, I mean, correct. You're doing the. What do you I'm call it? I'm doing the Lord's Lego work. 100% challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oz, or I guess his Twitch channel if you want to look him up, is awesome. And he's. Twitch.tv been... slash awesome. Yeah. O C Z E M. He's been trying to get a hundred percent in every like uh, every Lego game ever released. <laughs> yeah, the, the official ones and the ones that make sense. Yeah, the ones that have a hundred percent. Like you know, that they, they follow yep. the Lego game formula. Poor thing. He didn't deserve that. I need to shoot them from further away. That, that's really my problem, is that I'm just charging the bow or waiting too long. King Dice, I want to see you join during... No, Lego Star Wars 3 was too late. I honestly don't remember. The only reason I know why, oh, King, why Squidman joined was because late. of the clip of me mispronouncing his name. To be fair. Bam. And now I'm stuck with you ever since, Squidman. <laughs> So when you think about the Sheikah Slate, do you think it's more like the Wii U gamepad or the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode? It's more like the Nintendo Switch, because it doesn't need a console to work. God damn it, you're a genius. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm smarter. I know. <laughs> Shut up. Because well, you weren't a target doesn't mean you get to be yeah. superior. <laughs> well, I, I can't help that I am superior. All right, all right, Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> I don't think I'm smarter. I know I am. <laughs> Give me stakes. Give me rent. I think that was the only missed opportunity with Spider-Man No Way Home. Is that when uh, Tom Holland? gets, like, his own apartment at the end, they should've used Gimme Rent Guy. Oh, they should've. That would've been perfect. That I think he probably amazing. just was- he probably wasn't available. <laughs> yeah, because, like, the, the disembodied voice sounded like an impersonator, but I know for a fact it wasn't him. 
It's yeah. a bit like leaf frog, uh, Kindle thing. I mean, a little bit. I guess it is kind of like a leaf frog. Think about <laughs> it. I never had one of those, but my older brother did. He did. I think so of I it more of an in, in iPad Mini. That's what I think of it as. The iPad Mini Mini. It's just an iPhone, but without the phone. Yeah. Or at that point, it's just. It's, an iPod it's just an iPod touch. touch. <laughs> I had an iPod Touch five, and uh, still works, still charges. And that's the only way I can play Infinity Blade, because it was taken off the App Store. Firmly. Dude, I still have Infinity Blade on my old iPod. I just haven't been able to, I haven't charged my iPod in a while. I haven't tried. You have no idea how happy I am to hear that you know what that is, because literally... Infinity Blade's no fucking one, amazing, dude! It was what that is. It was the best mobile game of all time, and it is, like, the origin of why that Infinity Blade weapon showed up in Fortnite, where most people know it from. It's but in yeah, Fortnite? Like, nobody... Yeah, well, it was. Like, when Fort... Back... Way back when, like 2015, 2016, when Fortnite first came out, it was a melee weapon because uh, Chair Games made Infinity Blade, and that's just a branch of Epic Games. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, it was a melee weapon in Fortnite for a brief period of time, but it was like way too OP, and everybody complained about it. So they hmm. removed it, and that's when they took Infinity Blade off the App Store. Yo, interesting. No, too. Great game. Loved it. Yeah. It was good. And yeah, I guess the Sheikah Blade is also kind of like a Kindle. I have one of those, one of the old ones from many Christmases ago. And I never used it for books, except when I need to for school. But do you know what I used it for? Goat Simulator. On a Kindle? Yep. What the because fuck? Because it, it can have apps, just like a... Ow. That oh, it's more one of the newer Kindles. I know the older ones are like... They, what do they call them now? The Kindle paper? That, that still follow the old tradition of it like being... Yeah, the, the Kindle paper, yeah, the, those ones are book only. But this is like, yeah. probably one of the first ones I could have apps, because it was like, like many Christmases mm -hmm. ago. But yeah. But yeah, uh, also, uh, speaking of Infinity Blade and its vast greatness, uh, recently, That's a fucking weird the thing guy who composed the music for all <laughs> three games, Joss Acker, like, released the full, like, an album collection of the full soundtrack of all three games on Spotify. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So, like, it, I have that added to my Spotify, <laughs> and it's, like, it, it's under Josh Acker, because he has, like, a Spotify profile now. Huh. Neat. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I can say to that. <laughs> Yeah, because it's, it's, it's not, like, the best music I've ever heard, but sometimes yeah. I'm in the mood for a little nostalgia. I don't think I ever played it with sound off, so I have no idea what the music really sounds like. Maybe I did a little bit, but generally, no. I, I would always, uh, like, at least when I was first playing through each game, I'd have the sound on. Especially, you know, uh, Infinity Blade 2 and 3 started having voice actors speaking English instead of nice. whatever the hell. <laughs> Like, I honestly barely game. remember it. I, I remember most of the game. I don't remember, like, voice actors or anything. I think I've only played one. I actually did buy the ebooks. There's, like, two of them for Game Blade Story, but I never read either of them. Huh. Yeah, that seems like something that wouldn't really matter. I honestly did not care about the story even a little bit. The story within the games was really cool, at least in my oh, yeah. opinion. But, like, I wasn't going to read two 500-page books about a phone app. Yeah. I love calling Some people make a lot of this. Oh, it's one of them phone apps, you know? One of them phone apps. One of the Nintendos. Y'all got the new Nintendo? I shouldn't be all, all playing your Nintendos. A, a lot of people I know just say Nintendo instead of like Nintendo. Yeah, if a lot of people say that, I'm gonna make fun of all of them. <laughs> Fair. They deserve it. Probably just use the spear, because the. Let me tell you, arrows haven't been working now. Yeah, this will be fine. I imagine Link has to tell himself that in the mirror every day he wakes up. 
This will be fine. Tell him what? This will be fine. But Link doesn't say anything. He looks in the mirror when he wakes up and goes, Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so great at uh, imitating Link, but I have a pretty good Mario, considering I'm uh, an Italian man myself. I am also Italian. I don't think I do a very good Mario, though. <laughs> Yahoo! Yippee! Wahoo! Wah! Wah! <laughs> Wah! Sign me up, Nintendo. I can do better than Chris Pratt, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I think most people can. Such a tragic Hello, it's me, Mario. Movie. Mario, Mario. I really I'm here to save the princess. Because, like, it, it's already a lost cause, so I really hope it's just him in his regular voice. He doesn't even try to change his that, that's, voice whatsoever. That, that's all of his voice acting career. It's all, all of it's literally just fucking Chris Pratt. I've never seen him voice act. Like, I've only seen him have, in his... Have you seen the Lego movie? Wait, what? The Lego movie. He's, he's fucking Emmett. He's the main character in the Lego movie? Yeah, he's Emmett. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I, I think I watched that before I watched any of his major roles, so I didn't even recognize him at the time. Yeah. He's, he's just... Emich, when you listen to him, he's just Chris Pratt, but happy. Chris Pratt, but not depressed. Are you saying the actor is depressed, or most of his characters? His voice sounds like... It, it's... Like, the Emmett voice is, is happier than, than most of, uh his other voice performances, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would agree that a lot of even his live action roles have been a little bit down in the dumps. That too. Just cut. Or it's like, they're all like badass and they're either badass or sad. <laughs> Those are the options. Or both. Or both, Never sure. Forget both options. Is there not a single living being inside this little skull dungeon? Because I was yeah. two steps away from shooting the fire cage and blowing it sky high. But I think that's a trick. I think there's stuff in here that he needs to collect. Never mind. Never mind. I was, I was just doing the mechanic at a level where I have to sneak past his death using the invisibility cloak. And then he killed me anyway. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was invisible. He shouldn't have been able to kill me. Please. It's okay. They throw three pumpkins at him in revenge. I did it. So there were monsters within the giant skull cave dungeon, but they were oh. skeleton Lizalfos, and they were in the oh, ground. Oh, in the so ground, if I yeah. A fire cage, it wouldn't have done anything. No. That they were, they were trying to fool you into, into trying to get the upper hand and wasting your upper hand. Well, like, it wasn't even practical to use the fire cage, because I have to go... They're in the ground until you get super close to them, so you have to go inside to get well, yeah, them to yeah. wake up. The, and then you have to the, sprint outside, and then just... I, I had a spear, so I just outranged them. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a, yeah. like a GG gamer. Alternatively, I could have used Magnesis on the metal chest, but that shit's wrong. I mean, metal chests could be some of the best weapons in the game. I prefer metal boxes. I've killed a True. lot of... Like, within the trials of a shrine, I'll kill guardian... Like, mini oh, guardians yeah. with metal boxes. Killing guardians with big metal boxes is just like... That's that's the staple of the game. Yeah. I've seen a... Um, there, was, there was a clip going around on Twitter recently of uh, someone killing a... Uh, a Lionel. But he had an right. infinite combo of just like... Shooting it in the head, then pick up a metal box and whacking it like four times and then shooting it in the head again. <laughs> it, was, it was the most cartoony thing I've ever seen. I think the most impressive part is that the metal bo uh, box didn't break like after the first for, uh, one or two hits. There's certain metal boxes that don't break and do more damage. I forget exactly what makes them stand out, but there are there are specific ones. Yeah, you're probably the, probably like the really big ones that you use for like stacking up. Yeah, the ones that aren't meant to like uh, break. Yeah, pretty much. Like, they only break if you drop it on, like, an identical box. Because that's usually how I break middle boxes, if I want to see 
like open them up and see what's inside. I just drop it in my middle box oh, yeah. to it, and they both break, which is nice. I mean, that makes sense. I usually just throw bombs because I'm lazy. Fair. I know you're from Canada, so in winter it's always snowing there, but... What do you mean, why am I hearing thunder in winter? There's always storms in winter. That's how winter works. <laughs> well, uh, not in winter. Our winters are very dry. Well, except this year they've been, uh, like, lots and lots of snow. But still, it, it's not ever been thunder storms. Ah, uh, okay. Do you hear thunder other times of year? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Like, Interesting. In the appropriate time. I, I've lived. What, what is the appropriate time for thunder? Enlightenment. Uh, it's spring. It's like super rainy in spring here. Oh, okay. Interesting. I've lived in both dry, but California and Texas, and both of which have the most storms in in winter. So. Yeah, I guess that's when you get most of your moisture, because otherwise it's all evaporated. Yeah, pretty much. It's like occasionally we we get rain in spring too, but most of the like bad stuff happens in in winter. Most of that crazy shit. Okay, I finally made it past the one where the electric eye bats kept killing me. That's good. <laughs> and now I'm in the rainforest with an electric choo choo. More electric, hell yeah. Oh, you know what? That's not even close to what I thought it was. That's a chest I can't use stasis or magnesis on. But there is one on there. Hey, King Guys, a blizzard can have thunder, so not very often. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. He's saying a blizzard. He said a blizzard doesn't have thunder, you bastard. So I felt like being an asshole there, because technically they can. Is that a fire choo choo, or is that just a fire? I think it was just a fire. <laughs> the world may never know. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> Shot an arrow and hit the plant instead of the. How is this not working? Oh, there's bears. Because you're bad. No, because there's barricades. I couldn't see them. No, it's because you're bad. Immediately in with them. Don't make me come over there. I yeah, and why didn't you see the barricades, huh? <laughs> because they were blended in with the tall grass and Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> look at this. I'm sure, barricades and barricades and, and grass look so similar, huh? <laughs> Listen, buddy. I own a 2000 Dodge Durango, 8-cylinder, uh... Pretty big gas tank. It takes about 60 bucks to fill it up from empty. I will drive to Texas right now. And put yeah, what are you gonna do when you get there? Texas is a big place, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to put you in the pavement. Once I'm in <laughs> Texas, I'm sure I can find you. It's just oh, yeah. that thing around. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, do you know where st famous streamer Awesome is? <laughs> yeah, famous By any uh, Twitch affiliate Awesome. Mm -hmm, exactly. Any idea? Use my proper title, thank you. But now it's both our problems. That's true. Grats on affiliate. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, like, uh, as much as I love LEGO games, I knew I would have to switch off to get affiliate. So I was like, you know what? Zelda. True. I, I got my affiliate through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I think. It's been a while. <laughs> I legitimately don't remember. I mean, it, it, that does make sense, considering how we just have talked about how Pokemon gets mad viewers. True. I seem to be surrounded by uh, skeleton moblins, and of course, they didn't come out of the ground until I looted the chest. Of course. Because that, that's how we do it. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. The main thing I dislike about the Master Sword Trials is that it takes away your uh, divine beast like abilities too because the uh, bird guys 
wind gust would really be helpful here. Yeah, that would, it would be a little too helpful, huh? Yeah. I guess I can just grab this now, so that's helpful. No! Lightning's gonna strike it. Okay. Lightning has ceased. And Link just stubbed his cho. <laughs> cho! Toe opening a metal chest. Yo, Mr. Nerd of Chaos is now following. Thank you very much. Hey! I appreciate it. What a homie. Mr. Homie, indeed. <laughs> is above me. Oh. Where the fuck is the student in peril for this level? I'm so upset. Metal. Wake up. Wake up so I can kill you. Please. Thank you. It's probably back in the first area. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> and, uh... Ow. Please. God, why doesn't anything work? I shouldn't have to lock on to the head, but gonna be specific with it. Oh, well, I might as well eat all this, because it's not like I can do anything with it. Would've been nice if I waited for that. <laughs> yeah, Jaden, I, I, I unlocked Skeleton. The Skeleton. Famed character from Harry Potter, Skeleton. Streamlabs, OBS, OBS. Um, let's try this. Add okay. That was my bad. Moblin arm. Eh. It's better to use a spear for the range right now. It would be nice if one of the skeleton arms was a spear. I feel like the moblin arm would be the one to do it with. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh! I found it. Nice. Fine. K King of Dad joke, just first time chat, said, Why is Snape a potions professor and not a herbology professor? Because his lily died. Yo. Ooh. Ooh. Too soon. <laughs> that is, uh, not only inconsiderate, but that's just rude. That's yeah. Rude. Also, that is the third king to enter my chat. I have King Dice, King Squidman, and King of Dad joke. But that is a pretty no. good dad joke. I'll give him that much. So unfortunately, the skeleton bodies are just gonna hang around until I kill literally all of them. Oh yeah, that's our situation currently. Yeah, uh, wait. Oh, I see. Even if you kill their heads, you have to kill all of them for the for their bodies to stop fucking you up? Yeah, because then the other ones can put their heads on different bodies. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Hey, How long ago did I someone mean, redeem Upside Down Cam? To, do I have to be in Australia still? I think it's been more than an hour. That hurt. 10.48. Oh, not quite. It's been... I have 10 more minutes of, of Australia mode. What do you mean, Australia mode? My webcam's upside down, because someone redeemed it. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Channel point reward. Yeah, you have some pretty good yeah. ones. I, I've I been to, adding uh, to it whenever I get an idea. Look into that. Because, yeah, I haven't made my own emotes or badges or channel point rewards, for that matter. So I need to, like, take a day and sit down and do that. Yeah, I... I certain days, I, I'm able to get on my... Uh, computer before my stream time by like a good hour and instead of starting my stream early I just sort of work on making my stream better. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, because like with, with me, whenever I have free time, I usually just stream instead of like do stream setup stuff. That's fair. But it also depends I try to on keep like, a, a fair enough schedule the, though. Well, yeah, for sure. It also depends on like when and what the free time is because like if it's like super early in the day or it's like midday or something like Either hang out with family or do something else. Oh, yeah. I have been, uh, because I found Tokyo Ghoul on Hulu, and I watched, like, the first two seasons of that when I was in middle school, long oh. time ago. But now it has the third and final season, so I've been 
I rewatched seasons one and two just to like jog my memory, and now I'm like near the end of the last season. Imagine yeah. not pirating content. Cannot be me. <laughs> you bastard. Well, I get. Uh, I pay for Spotify fr uh, Premium, which gives me like free Hulu with ads, which is a. Oh, free interesting. Free. Yeah. I thought Hulu was already free with ads. No, actually, it's not. It, it, it was when it came out. I think they must have gone premium at some point. Well, yeah, because like Cause... they've gotten more popular since then. Yeah, I remember distinctly that was like the thing why you would switch off of Netflix is because Hulu was free, but I had ads. <laughs> yeah, it's like maybe there's like a free version with like even more ads, but I don't think so. Because like nowadays they're pretty high profile. Yeah. Uh, like the big Hulu show that happened recently which was Dope Sick. And I actually watched it the second it first came out, but now all of a sudden it's a big deal. Wait, what was it called? Now, Dope Sick. It's about Dope Sick. the opioid huh. epidemic in America, mostly about Purdue Pharma and Oxycontin and how they lied about how yeah. dangerous and addictive it is. And it's you know, considering your favorite considering your favorite movie, I could, I'm, not, I'm not surprised you enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, because Michael Keaton's my favorite actor, so bam. Yeah. Wham blam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, imagine watching anything that has ads. Could not be me. <laughs> what, use ad block? I use ad block, I fucking pirate everything that would otherwise require ads. <laughs> you do come off as the ad block type, which is essentially me telling you you come off as a criminal, but uh. Don't I am a criminal. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I, 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 Dude, have I made no attempt to hide that. I'm not a big enough streamer that admitting to crimes live on stream will do anything to me. <laughs> Well, yeah, for sure, and also that's the crime that literally nobody cares about. Yeah, except for executives. Well, I mean, you know, I feel like most people... Oh, I, I, I do pay for Amazon Prime, so I get Amazon Prime video for free, but I don't pay for Amazon Prime because of the video, if that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, no. No, it doesn't, in fact. I, I pay for Amazon Prime, so I can get, you know, free shipping and, like, next day delivery and shit, but that comes so with Amazon Prime video. Well, yeah, well, yeah I can't, I can't pirate free delivery. It's not, I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, unless you're an, an actual pirate and you were just like, uh, <laughs> just steal other like, people's like a train shit. Robber, but for Amazon delivery trucks. Oh, that. You know they have they, like a modern day hero. That that would be. They make something. fucking. Uh, Some crazy they make like stuff. net shotgun shells that are meant for taking down drones. I've seen them before. <laughs> Maybe I got to do that once once Amazon rolls out the full drone delivery. We, we need to stop automating so many things because it, it, it's, it's going to be iRobot. Yeah, I, I need know to be in the middle. Turn on us and it's going to be over. I, if, I, if I pass through the middle of, of not being popular enough but being too popular. I guess iRobot's a bad example Stop. because that movie had a good ending. It's going to be Terminator. They're going to turn on us. It's going to be over. Yeah. That checks out. Shit. I already know for a fact this is... Oh. I was going to say this is going to be a stall knox. Oh shit. They're on skeleton horses. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, but what if you pirate it? You can see the new stuff if you pirate it. Don't don't get Hulu, just pirate it. <laughs> and I'm dead. I got hit yeah, once. A... Not by a weapon, but the, the horse ran me over. And nice. now I have to start over. Oh my god. Yeah, I this think the robots good. might run the world better than us. Just get a VPN and hide head to pirates bay. I have I have better sources than that, but you know. Never heard of Plex. It's the good shit. You guys are really going into it, huh? Hmm? Yeah. Talk about pirating. <laughs> King of Dad Jokes says, I want Hulu because I want to see the new Animaniacs. Also, Futurama's coming back is a big deal for me. Yeah, don't get Hulu, just pirate it. <laughs> it's new shit, just pirate it. <laughs> you I don't, don't need Hulu. Let you talk about you pirating on stream, but I don't know if they're gonna let you, like, endorse pirating on stream. <laughs> I will endorse pirating. I will endorse crime all day if it's from big companies. <laughs> stealing from a big company is hardly even stealing. Especially if it's pirating content, they're not losing shit. They're losing potential revenue. On the one hand, I agree with you, but on the other hand, uh, as Twitch affiliates, we technically work for Amazon. Yeah. Fucking if Daddy Bezos wants to do something about it, he can come to me directly. <laughs> Daddy Bezos, pull up. See what happens. Until then, I will continue talking about pirating and can encouraging other people to pirate. Yeah, one, two, three movies. Just look up a watch insert thing here 
for free online, and then it'll come up with something. There's so many well, I mean, pirate apps. It, it, There's it's so many. to have uh, a standard website to recommend and use, because there are a lot of scam ones. Like, I mean, true. Just don't put in your fucking... Don't download things, and don't put in your, your credit card information, and you're fine. <laughs> Well, yeah, th that is the main thing, is never download it, just, like, find a website that streams it. Yeah. If, if you, I, if you, use, uh, if you download something... Watch Dragon Ball uh, Super. If you download something called fucking LostSeason2.exe, do not open it. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, IMDBTV is a streaming service I use to watch Lost, and it is free, but it does have ads. Hmm? I think if you have a good enough ad blocker, you can get past that, though. Well, I watch it on a Roku, not on my laptop. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I use, um, fucking GoGo Anime. Or I used it before GoGo Anime fucking died. They got oh, annihilated. Taken down. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, before that, they had ads, but they, they were very tenacious. Like, it, it took some real effort to get, um, to, to, to get around them. I had to, I had to try three different ad blockers, but eventually one worked. I see. Yeah, Kiss Anime, what? first of all, had, had, they were like two separate Kiss Anime websites, and they had slightly different URLs, and one of them was just ads, impossible to get through, and the other one Incredible. was a real website. So it was always annoying when I, like, not use it for months, and then have to try and remember... Check out the new channel point, Rino Deems, but Mason, even, like, the there's, there's more stuff here, you can turn me Australian, you can turn me back. And, uh, I don't know, just, just a pain. So you yeah. really had to be persistent. I was just talking about the fucking the pirating platform that, that this guy Mason introduced me to, and then he just shows up in my stream like he never he never even fucking comes into my stream, and now he's suddenly here because I was talking about his thing. <laughs> you have summoned. Yeah, he he has a habit of doing that. Every time I bring him up, he just sort of like appears. It's wild. The council has summoned you. Must defend oh god! Oh god! We got we got two redeems of tall cam. Oh god! We're going we're going real tall now, and we're upside down. Oh no! What do you mean tall cam? Tall cam. I, I make my camera taller. I stretch it out vertically. Oh, I see. Right, and I can hydrate, and then I get a third hot tall cam. Hmm. This is damn near unwatchable. <laughs> Does it affect the game too, or just your camera? No, it's just my, it's just it's just my face cam. Okay, well that's the least important part. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm, I'm now taking up the entire column of screen that my face cam was in. <laughs> well, damn. Hey Mason, you redeemed enhanced HUD. What do you wanna? What do you, what do you want me to add to the HUD? You didn't you didn't tell me. That's part of the Yo, that's part of the thing. <laughs> add Breath of the Wild HUD. Yo, if you can get me a if you can get me a transparent PNG of Breath of the Wild, then I'll add it. I see. You're unwatchable, like all you your team. Hey, fuck you, Mason. <laughs> you know who Doug Doug is, right? I know Doug Doug. Yeah, that, that's why yeah. that's where I got the idea for Enhanced HUD from. That was a good YouTube video. That, that's definitely one of my favorite. Very nice. Like, like uh, what was it? Like he was playing Super Mario Odyssey. And yeah. He just had to add a uh, new game layout on like, every five minutes. The RuneScape one kind of screwed him over. Flip yourself so we can see Curse. No, you have to pay for me to, to flip myself. Alright, King Dice wants me to add Max Rebo. Luckily, I still do have Max Rebo in here. Uh, Poggers, Max oh god, he's stretched out. And black and white. Oh god. So, you think he died in the terrorist attack in Book of Boba Fett? I haven't watched all of Book of Boba Fett. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I watched the first two episodes. Hold on. Properties. Right now it's under filters, isn't it? Filters. <laughs> Why is everyone? God, everyone's using all of my fucking. <laughs> everyone's using all of my uh, my my channel point redeems. All right, all right. Max Rebo can go down there. Um. Oh, yeah. Max Rebo does not die when Java's sail barge explodes, unless it explodes again in Book of Boba Fett, because he appears in Book of Boba Fett. Thank you. Alright, um... Okay, so, first of all, Nerd of Chaos, which direction do you want me to flip my cam? And Mason, which way do you want to flip my cam? Vertical, horizontal. 
It's just gonna un like it's gonna end up back to normal. Oh yeah, it's just gonna cancel out. But you know. Okay, nerd of chaos wants it the right way up. I'm assuming Mason's gonna flip it back the other way. <laughs> That can transform, flip vertical. And yeah, New Basin's gonna flip it back upside down. Very nice. Flip vertical again. All right. I do think the original flip vertical is going to be running out in the next like two minutes, so it's just gonna go back to normal. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Um, Mason, you did you did redeem Enhance HUD. You have not told me what you want on screen. With you, screen. <laughs> you need to, you need to send me that. Otherwise, you just wasted your channel points. <laughs> Halo HUD. You have to get me a picture. That, that's that's if you read the description of the channel point redeem. You, you will see. You have to you have to get me a picture and add it. I mean, you don't just get to tell me. I don't, I'm not gonna hunt it down for the next 20 minutes to find a transparent version of the Halo HUD. You have to Warwick. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm dead. So hear me out. I'm thinking. Uh, I bleed. Yeah, you have I... to work for it. It's in the small burn. I'm thinking I'm gonna. Leave this final oh. Master trial for when I get oh, okay. Cards. I thought you were just gonna leave the, the fucking call. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> it's like I, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna leave. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Bye. I'm actually leaving to go outside and you know get in my car and drive to Texas. So I'm gonna go find you. Get in your your truck, you man. Not a truck. It's, uh, closer to a van SUV. Oh. Dodge Durango. I'm sure you'll recognize. Dodge Durango. Yeah, when you said Dodge, I'm just, I just imagined a pickup truck. Nah, nah. I, uh... I just imagined I, I, Dodge Ram. <laughs> well, yeah. I definitely... I don't know. I like... Uh, I prefer big vehicles, but but not truck, because that, you know, you can't really... Yeah, yeah. Free passengers yeah, you, most, and most trucks. Yeah, you can't do shit with it. Convenient for me. Because literally, just the other day, I actually drove me and a bunch of my co-workers over to Little Caesars to pick up food. Like during our lunch break. Nice. But yeah, like my car, uh, like comfortably seats eight people, and if you really tried, you could fit it more than that. That's that's a good car. Notice, yeah. shit's clear, bitchin'. Hell, so yeah, I can't hear you. My my very loud sub notification just went off. Thank you for the eleven months, Hunter. Nice. <laughs> eleven I months. Did. Damn, that's a good sub. Yeah. He's one of the founders. Ooh, yeah, I have I have yet to have a founder. I did make affiliates, but I haven't gotten anything out of that. You haven't gotten any subs? No subs, no bits. I've gotten ads because people No bitches? On <laughs> shut up. On previous <laughs> story of my life. Shut up. No sauce, no ju juice, no drip, no bread. <laughs> no Zelda. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you over people giving me money. <laughs> <laughs> that is basically what I just said. <laughs> I'm just quoting my chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you got another sub, and that's what no. you were saying. I'm no. like, holy shit. This man is Bezos. Yes, I am Bezos. I've gotten two sub renews at the same stream. <laughs> Notice! Oh, there Shit's it is. Oh, actually, bitchin'! I can't hear you because someone did just sub to me again. Hype train. Bird eggs. No. Damn. Hype train? I don't think I have the ability to hype train. I don't have enough subs. <laughs> yeah, I think that's like a... I'm sure affiliates can do it, but it is more of a partner thing to have. That's yeah. It's hard to hype train when you don't have, like, that many people hype. in chat. When you don't have hype. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when there's nothing to be hyped about. Then he redeemed hydrate. Alright. Notice! Oh, okay. Shit's we actually bitching. do have a fucking hype train. Hello! <laughs> money, got money, money. Subs, so there's a legit hype train. <laughs> Is that all it takes? Apparently. Nice. Apparently, I just need to taunt my, my viewers into, into subbing to me. Like, and then yeah. 200 bits? Okay. What yeah. the fuck is this? <laughs> 
doing a bit. So hype, hype train, $2. I guess. That was two dollars. Two dollars. Sorry, I can't hear you about over all this money I'm getting. <laughs> you ever seen Better Off Dead? Better Off Dead? No, I don't think. I, I don't. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> A great movie. Definitely follows the spirit of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, but okay. There's like, uh, you know, because because it's in that old style. There's a kid who delivers the newspaper on a bicycle, and oh. he's telling the main character that he owes him two dollars at like the beginning of the movie. And just at random points oh, later in the movie, you'll see him biking towards the main character, screaming two dollars. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> two dollars. That's the same energy as fucking. Have you seen that that clip from from fucking Lego Batman too? Where someone was dubbing over it, where it was just like, Bruce, it's been five years, yes. you still owe me sixteen dollars. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. I made that a meme, and then someone actually donated me sixteen dollars because I said that to them. <laughs> oh my god. Though he has been my friend longer than I've been streaming, I... so it's kind of fair. Uh, damn my memory because I can't remember it's exactly who it was. But one time I just popped in. To some random streamer. I don't remember what he was even playing, but the, his his name was Bruce, and it was in his username. So I just popped in and said, "Bruce, it's been five years. You still owe me sixteen dollars." And he had Incredible. no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> that's the that's the best way, honestly. Everyone in his chat knew what I was talking about, but not him. Of course, <laughs> that's how that's how streaming works. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I guess oh god, this could be so fucking cursed. <laughs> my... Explore this area because I've been, I've been told that there's like five some shrines in the Great Hyrule Forest. Mm -hmm. Maybe just even specifically Korok Forest. Shit. Oh, I fucked it up. Um... Oh, If you fell asleep early, you probably ruined your sleep schedule. Yeah, sounds about right. My sleep schedule's a fucking mess. Image. There we go. That's the one. Add a new source. If only there are quest markers. Wait, is there? I guess I need to check. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the name discovered my fucking channel point redeems and now I'm <laughs> the fucking most cursed you've ever seen. That bad, Though I do huh? think my um I do think my, my camera gets to flip back upside down. Or right side up rather. Nice. Success. <laughs> you scammed people into wasting their points, now your camera's True. back to normal. Genius. Is there even a way to make the camera small? No. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> Alright. Oh, dude, he's flipping it back upside down. Very nice. Do channel points do anything? <laughs> I mean, they give, they do whatever the, the um, streamer allows them to do. No, I meant do they do anything for us? Oh, no, it's just engagement. Hmm. That's interesting. I always thought it was like <laughs> the same thing as bits. No, you don't get anything for him. Damn. Perhaps if you redeem even more tall camps, I'll just get skinnier. I won't, I won't get any taller, but I'll, I'll be taller by ratio. <laughs> From gummy bear to gummy worm. Okay, so he flipped me upside down. Nerd Chaos flipped me back. Mason, Mason flipped me back upside down. <laughs> okay, I'm still upside down. If my understanding is that I'm still upside down. This stream's gonna end pretty soon. <laughs> I have, like, probably another hour, actually. So, if I might as well get him in now. Okay, um, that's, that's um, upside down and then back again. Okay, then both of them are Dean White Camp! <laughs> See, here's the thing. There are two things I could do with Wide Camp. And that is that is either... Oh, shit, fuck. I forgot Rebo is in my camera. Why is Rebo in my camera? Get out of here. Rebo, if he's in get out of my camera. Put him there. I mean, he is. And it was because I did it for a meme originally. Um, where where my re the the max rebo replaced my my actual like you know face cam right so I uh, so, so it was part of the face cam so it would, so it would be under the uh, the the border 
I received a level one hype train emote. Cool. Anyway, so because you got you redeemed three wide camps, I could either be here, which is basically normal, just big, <laughs> or I could go back to normal, which would probably be what I would imagine it would be, sort of like down here. Does it work by the same rules, or is this different? Because wide a wide cam and tall cam cancel each other out the same way that flip cam fl cancels itself out. <laughs> I'll be I'll be a little bit bigger. Alright. Can I play the game now? Are are you done fighting? You can play the game. Move cam. Play. Where would you like the camera, Mason? I can't play the game. I have to keep doing this <laughs> shit. Top middle. Yes sir. Do you want it in front of the Halo HUD or behind the Halo HUD? <laughs> behind? Okay, good. I'm, I'm, I'm behind the shield bar. Very nice. <laughs> Flip cam? Vertical or horizontal, my friend? <laughs> I'm assuming if it's vertical, then Mason just turned it back. So, yeah. Mason, Mason likes it exactly how it is. If I redeem the suggestion, I must ask, is it possible to invert your camera colors? That's a great idea. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can actually do it, though, is the problem. Next stream, next stream. It's like, whether, when do you want me to figure it out now, or if you actually want me to play the game? Do the flip? Okay, I'll do the flip. It will flip. Mason hasn't cancelled it yet, so you get me to flip vertical. And then I'm upside down again. Very nice. <laughs> Alright. It does feel nice to have stuff in my inventory again, now that I'm back in the actual game. Having an actual inventory is fun. Oh god, we have another flip war. Okay. <laughs> Who's been in my stream more? I, 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 I want to say, say Mark's been in my stream more. So he wanted upside or right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up. <laughs> Cody Ryu says I need to finish this damn game. Thanks for the first time chat with this cursed ass shit. <laughs> it stopped searching for me. I can't redeem any more wide co cams because you've already redeemed this reward. <laughs> no more wide cams for you. They will do this until they, that's true. They will they will do this until they run out of out of channel points. That's 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 a fact. I got to year three with wife trying to co-op. Well, this is five through seven, so, you know. <laughs> Second, separate game, technically, if it's still part of the first game. I used to play this with my brother. Don't have to run. Right now, I'm okay. on, like, a... We are I, vertical again. I guess I'd call it a side quest, but really it's just shrine quest, and I have to, like, just tail this little mini Korok guy without... Oh god, that's the worst one. Literally the worst mission in the game. He's so fucking slow. If yeah, if you get too close, like, he notices you. If you go too far away, you lose him. It's the well, worst yeah, thing. Course, but like, I didn't know, I didn't realize how slow he'd be. So at first, I was like sprinting towards him, and immediately I had to hide behind a rock. <laughs> oh god, my fucking my brother is in the stream right now, spending all his channel points to turn me back to normal. <laughs> Dude, what a Chad. Dude, listening to Audible at work, that's that's like my life, dude. <laughs> I've listened to so many audiobooks. I finished most of a book today because it was so slow. Personally, I'm more of a podcast guy. I, I also listen to podcasts, it's just I haven't... I, I like to wait for them to get a, a good good bunch of episodes so I can binge them all at once. Like I'm doing that oh, yeah. with uh, well, yeah, both Welcome like, to Night Vale. I'll find uh, a yeah, cool. podcast that's new to me, but that's been like in the works for years. So it's just like, oh, gotcha, yeah. episodes. Yeah, I did that. Every time I find a new one, it, it, I do that, and then it's up to date, and then I have to wait for it to to fuck up again. <laughs> it is the worst feeling in the world when you catch up fully. Yeah. Oh, God. Like it's been a good two years since I've done any Welcome to Night Vale. There's a good, there's a good bit for me when I get back to it, but you know. 
Yeah, there was Welcome to Night Vale and uh, the Adept is Ridiculous. Those are the two I listened to. What's with the HUD? He, he redeemed Enhanced HUD. Hold on. What I got, I, they've been talking. Getting? Oh, I got the Halo HUD. Like, uh, what exactly is it? Like a mini-map? Oh no, it's like, it's, it's a fucking transparent, like, overlay that goes around the entire border. It's fucking weird. Anyway. The, I've been following this guy for so long, and he just shouted out halfway there. <laughs> this dumb bastard. I've known you since 2017, I didn't know you had a brother. Oh well, yeah, how you do? Perfect stream thing. Channel points to add it. Yeah, okay. How did I miss this? Yeah, that's him. I've listened to both of those. Good job, man. I made sure to find the worst Halo HUD. Yeah, you found the most intrusive Halo HUD possible. Well done, son. <laughs> Where you gonna go, buddy? Thankfully, I have bazillion uh, stealth up meals, so I just pop one of those, and it's been pretty smooth. Oh, did, I didn't even think about that. I, I didn't realize stealth up meals were a thing when I was doing that mission the first time. I didn't think that would help, but I guess it would. Yeah, mostly it's about like uh, uh, flowers and such would be like those stealthy meals, but also there's mm. like sneaky snails and such. Yeah, and there's like the. Uh, what are they called? Like the silent lilies or whatever the fuck? Yeah. There's like blue nightshade and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There is the silent princess f uh, flower, which I think technically does that, but they're also what you need. Silent for, like, princess upgrade. is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. You needed to upgrade the champion screen at a great trade. Yeah, you're never going to spend it on those. It's definitely better to use it for that. God, the scream sound effect is the worst thing in the world, but yeah, definitely. It's really, they only pop what? up at, like, Great Fairy Fountains and where the Master Sword is. K King Dice, what do you mean of the only person who doesn't know is Squid? What, what, what doesn't Squid know? <laughs> Oh, yep. <laughs> Even with your stealth up. <laughs> Link tripped on a root and it made him stand instead of sneak. Well, now. I mean, that's like surprisingly realistic. Actually tripping over something and losing yourself. <laughs> that's funny. I know that wasn't intentional, but it kind of works. I should be allowed to just kill the Korok and then make it to the shrine myself. Yeah, honestly. Oh, the brother found here. I think Squid knows. He was there when I was playing... Harry Potter one with him. I introduced him as my brother. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just realized it's not raining. I have plenty of stamina. Ah. Let me just climb in the trees. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Here's the thing, Hunter. I have the right to choose where the HUD goes. If you choose something so intrusive that no one can see the stream at all, I'm just gonna put it down in the bottom corner. And that, that's why I keep that right. <laughs> I, I, I keep the right to override your rule. <laughs> Specifically for that reason. God damn it. I went on a particular tree, and apparently the top of that tree is off limits, so send me back in a very Lost Woods style. Hmm? Yep, sounds like, sounds like, sounds like a, a Zelda game. They really like sending you back when you fuck things up. I have half a mind to go to Kakriko Village and like buy the stealth armor. <laughs> Get even more stealthy. Yeah, because the only reason I didn't buy them on this playthrough is that, I don't know, like I'll, I'll use stealth meals to like sneak up on things to attack them, but I'm never going to oh. like, sneak past an enemy, uh, enemy and not kill it. So. Yeah. Honestly, no no enemies are really hard enough to require that, in my opinion. I'd rather just face them head on. Like, that works just yeah, fine for me. Like, 
Well, once you get a decent bow and you have like good arrows, then guardians even are not that big a deal as long as you can yeah. like do one at a time. It's like if you're doing like fucking master mode or whatever it is, maybe maybe it's a problem then, but still yeah. probably not. If once you get past the early game, anyway. Yeah, early game. This is a pretty tough game. But once you have like armor and like hearts, yeah. that's all you need. Once you have something. Literally any item. <laughs> Items. Tree branch. Because as long as you have good armor and a good amount of hearts, and like you can take some hits, it doesn't. You could you could you could be using like a shit weapon, a shit bow. Fine. You just have to yeah. outlast the other guy. Exactly. God, I hate when this stupid Korok will just suddenly stop just to say, "This is the right way." Is this the right way? This is the right way. This is like, the way. First of all, you don't know I'm here, so you're talking to yourself, you psychopath. And also, you know where you're going. You don't have to say, yeah, that's the right way. Shit. And that was close. And of course. Stop it. Stop. He was searching for me, so I had to go away out of his uh, eyesight, and then it put me in the fog. <laughs> nice. Okay, I think I'm just literally gonna go buy the shit in the village. I think that's okay. what it's come to. Do it. Oh, shit. I don't think I found the, uh... Actually, hold on. It might be in the... It might be in here. Does he know how to do bomb launches? Do you know how to do bomb launches? Uh, it depends on what he means by that. I don't know. He's asking if you know how to do a bomb launch. <laughs> I'm not sure. If it's what I think he's talking about, then probably yeah, not. Yeah, wind, wind bomb? There's, there's, there's like a weird thing you could do with the bombs where you like launch. Like, One into you, and then, yeah. Wind bomb? Yeah, wind bomb. Yeah, I'm Korok really is pronounced Korok, can you guys? In the exploits of the game, I just kind of want to play. You know, that's fair. That is a, a good way to play it. I, I When I was playing it, I, I learned about these exploits, did them once, and I'm like, okay, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, like, because Skyrim is one of my favorite video games of all time, and like, when I was really into playing it, I chose one single account to do the Fortify Restoration glitch, which like completely oh, yeah. affects your character and makes you a god and all that. I just did it mm -hmm. once to prove that I could do it, and then I moved on. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I think the student in peril was here. I think I missed the student in peril on the set. Use it for the later half of your playthrough. I guess that makes sense. I've been using them the whole game. Yeah, that sounds like something you do, Mark. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the reasoning that I went with why I assumed you did that. Colloquially known as Sheikah, but I don't think it's, it's never called that in game. It's just called stealth. I guess, I mean, if you're doing everything from Link's point of view, it's probably too hard to yeah. talk. <laughs> You'd call it. Yeah. Hey. Also, no, Hunter, I never set up my donations. <laughs> I should. I actually, like... I set up my donation tip line with the PayPal before I made the movie, but that has never been used either. I set it up, but I never actually attached it to my my Twitch in any way. So. Yeah. 
I have notifications if someone somehow donates to my PayPal, but <laughs> there's no button for it. I do have a command for it, but for some reason my bot hasn't worked for like the past month, and I have no idea how to fix it. I haven't ever added a bot. I haven't bothered to learn how that works. Oh, you see, I have the stream elements bot. Oh, I see. I'm sure there's a way to do it through through Streamlabs. I just haven't. I'm pretty sure that's in the forest, so that's helpful. Need to teach you guys a lot of stuff. Yeah, but that's a lot of work. Well, let, me, let me choose a different dark wizard. I don't want moldy wart. Wizard. Wizard. Oh yes, wizard. Mm. One time I was watching Is this someone else's dark stream, wizard? Sure. and they got raided by the guy who was like the lizard wizard, and he had emotes of a wizard lizard. That's amazing. It was I pretty love it. good. Oh, what's my dad talking about today? Meet uh, the joyful man behind this incredible jet engine, engine go-kart video. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> God, I have to listen to fucking scream sound effect again. In this, in this one portion of the level, for some reason, there's horrible screaming sounds over and over again. I don't even know what they're meant to be. I'm assuming they might be like civilians, but it's literally just the same sound repeated over and over again. They don't overlap, just one after the other. What what movie are you in? Uh, this is definitely all those part two. Oh, oh that's where the guy is. Wait, didn't I? Hold on. I thought I fucking saved the student in peril. I, I'm fairly confident I did this, but I guess I didn't. of it, I need 15 sunset fireflies for like the second evolution of the stealth set. So first I'm gonna go find Beetle, because he could very well be carrying those. But if he's not, mm. I'm gonna go back to the Great Plateau, because I remember there were a lot there. The problem is I usually just sell off critters and creatures, because I don't deal with elixirs, I just make meals. But sometimes you need them for armor. Mm, kind of gotcha. Huh. Huh. There's actually. Hold on. The, the, okay. I was trying to find the um, the student of peril in peril in this level, but it turns out there's someone who looks like a student in peril and acts like a student in peril, but isn't the student in peril. You get money for it, like he claps, he does a little animation that he's supposed to do, but he doesn't count for the level, he's just a different character that doesn't matter. That's wild. That's, it, that's the most Lego game like thing I've guy. ever heard. He's just a guy that needed <laughs> he's just, and you have He's just a student there. that's in peril, but he's not a student in peril. <laughs> he's a student in peril, not the student in peril. Yes, exactly. Up a I rock I... and threw it because I always do that to check for Korok seeds. When it landed, I heard a chicken squawk, but I didn't see any chicken. 
My game just fucking crashed. <laughs> oh shit, really? Yeah. That's rough. For no good reason. All right, booting it back up, doing that first part of the level yet again. Is uh, Harry Potter <laughs> part two one of the ones where you can save mid-level? Uh, no, it's right before they start implementing that. That is unfortunate. Yeah. And to be fair, that was the first section of the level that I got through when it crashed. So yeah, I didn't even get to the second part if there was a, uh, a, a save point there. Well, that's not too bad, then. I'm actually going to warp to a different stable just to check if Beetle stuff will be different. Well, actually, I have no idea yeah, if he has like different stuff at different locations or if it's just a time. I think it's random every time you meet him. It probably is. But also, it's like technically, uh, in-game time does pass when you teleport. Yeah. And also, doesn't he only appear after like a certain period of time, or is he always at every stable? I don't remember. I think I'm pretty sure he's always at every stable. I don't think I've ever gotten to a stable and he wasn't there. But sometimes uh, you'll, especially when you discover a new stable, you have to wait like a minute or two for him to like start marching towards it. Oh, gotcha. But, but, I, but I've always uh, ran into him. And at stables you've already discovered, I think he's always inside when you get there. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. Ah, uh, yes, back to Scream Village. Love to see it. Where everyone's screaming all the time. Bam. You think you think that's the Oh that's the that's the Really? Apparently that's the curfew alarm for Hogsmeade. Apparently, according to King Dice, the screams. I, I that doesn't sound right, but Actually I, don't no, know. I, I think he is right about I remember something like that. Huh. That is, I mean, terrifying. I mean, yeah, I, I guess it would be. It's also just annoying as hell. Oh! The reason the student's in peril is because he has a fucking popsicle that you need for the potion. Okay. I understand now. <laughs> He's not actually that in peril. He just looks like a student in peril, but he also has a potion ingredient. Interesting. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And yeah, like, well, that is... It, it, it's one of those things that, like, uh, it's kind of upsetting when you don't know why it happened, but once you figure it out, it kind of makes perfect sense. Yeah. It's still a dumb game design decision, making him look and act like a student in peril, but not be the student in peril. But it's still, at least it's more of a reason than just being a bitch about it. <laughs> it's more of a reason than just poor game design, it's just a poor decision, then. stock and change up his inventory if he goes to a new stable. So I'm going to try this oh. a few times and see if I can get the Sunset Butterfly. But if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go to the That's fair. <laughs> I remember... Because uh, I say this is my first playthrough, but I actually did try playing it a few years back, but I like made no progress whatsoever, and like mm -hmm. I fell off of it. So when I started playing it on stream, I just like uh, wiped that data and started new. Oh, gotcha. But I remember that first time playing it when I first got a Blood Moon, I was uh, terrified because I was well, right yeah, next as to you should a be. <laughs> Bokoblin camp that I just cleared out, oh. and well enough. 
they just pop out of nowhere. It took me forever to realize what that actually did. Yeah, like, like I always thought they just one, respawned over time, I didn't realize. Yeah, kind of. A little confusing. Yeah. How did I go up with this? There's something I can climb. Want a real Breath of the Wild challenge? Don't use fast travel unless you need to get back on the Great Plateau. That just doesn't sound fun. That just sounds annoying. Yeah, it sounds miserable. And also, I never said that I wanted a challenge outside of the game itself. Yeah, that's just one of my viewers. Yeah, I know. I figured it wasn't you, considering you yeah. also rebutted to it. I mean, yeah. I'll probably try out Master Mode once I'm done with this playthrough. But outside of that, I'm not going to do anything that, yeah. like, people create it. Because I've never understood... I don't know. I, I see people do Nuzlocks all the time, and I, I just know for a fact I would never do that. See, Nuzlocks... Nuzlocks, I think, are worth it, because Pokemon just doesn't have any challenge to begin with. That's true. Like what, It makes it actually interesting up. to play for someone who knows what they're doing. The game's kind of over the second you grind up. I mean, yeah. You can still fuck up, though. If you want to actually do it, a common I'll, rule for, for Nuzlocke is make... Nuzlocke. Oh, without? Okay, well, still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just meant like, uh... I think that's just Luminous Stones. I'm pretty sure that's just what that means. Oh, there it is. I can go check that out later. I'm sure I have something closer to it. Level caps, yeah, that was that was the rule I was talking about. You had level caps, so you don't if you grind up, so so you don't win if you grind up when you're playing a Nuzlocke. You say, oh, I can only grind to this level. I just ran into a giant bowl with gold horns in Breath of the Wild. I'm terrified. I don't know what that is. But good luck. <laughs> bowl with gold horns, you said? Oh yeah, my a God. giant bowl I with see. gold horns. This is my first silver bow coblin. I see him right there. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, I do have a like. Oh, you like, just ancient arrow him? Huh? I mean, that works still. You can just hit him with an yeah. ancient arrow and, and say problem solved. <laughs> I only have one ancient arrow, and it's the only uh. one I've gotten this entire thing, and I'm probably gonna save it all the ancient arrows I get for Flamity Cannon. But I have you know, that's uh, fair. twice upgraded so far Matrasaur. It does 50 damage, so... I think I'll be fine. Got plenty of good equipment and shields. Also, I do have the Soldier set of armor, and that is also twice upgraded. So I should be relatively safe here. <laughs> Shouldn't have been terrified. It was just a giant bull and nothing special. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're getting the play-by-play. Why would Fall Rescue do that to me? I landed safely and then I just walked off and it sent me all the way back. What a bitch. Well, that's the point of that. <laughs> I got a Dragon Bone Boku bat and it has the critical hit buff, so that's pretty good. Ooh, spicy. How far am I into this game? I'm 79%, I think. I'm almost done with 100%ing the, the story mode. The, uh. 
Hogwarts is still is still something I need to do, but I'm almost done with the story. Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected that. Bam. Alright, buddy. You and me. Okay, that surprisingly did very little damage. The Master Sword on the Silver the Goblin. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I knew they were strong, I just didn't expect that. You have a lot of health. It's fine, though. I stole all their weapons when I was sneaking, so the best well, thing right least. now is literally a torch. I mean, that's still gonna do like fucking eight damage, because he's like silver. Yeah, but the fact that I left him the worst weapon possible means he'll still do weapon strikes, which means I get the flurry rush. That's fair. Though I think if he doesn't have a weapon, he's still gonna try to melee, which I think you can still parry that. Really? You can still flurry rush with just like a punch? I think so. Also, I just, I just killed him. He's dead now. Nice. Yo, he dropped a sapphire? That's crazy. Yeah, he's silver. He's, he's a big boy. Yeah, I, d I didn't realize they just randomly... I thought it'd be like, I don't know, like five Boat Hoblin Guts or just some crazy number like that, but I wasn't expecting him to be carrying a precious gem on him. No, he's a, he's a rich boy. It's probably his first stone. How do you think he painted himself silver? That costs money. What? My birthstone? I think it's Aquamarine? I'm not sure though. It's August. I don't oh, remember. Shit. I'm September. Oh, okay. Nice. I remember I you just brought back a distinct memory of me going to this like this little this little tchotchke shop in uh like there, there's a place called Balboa Bubbo Island near where I used to live. I went with my grandma and we used to get fucking webkins, but they also had like birthstones there. I and I, I distinctly remember the this name one. of that island, but speak very clearly. Balboa. 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 Like okay. Rocky Balboa. I'm just making sure you didn't say Boblo. Because Boblo. Is, one of my favorite songs is Boblo, but. Oh. Huh. Alrighty then. If you're gonna tell me it was real, I was gonna. Yeah, no. It's not Boblo Island. <laughs> Balboa. You know, now that I say it out loud, I can see how you make that difference. When I was saying it slowly, I'm like, Bob Lowe does not sound like Balboa. <laughs> but no, I see what you mean. Clarify. Core, core memory unlocked, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. First of all, uh, Inside Out, great movie. One of Pixar's best. And also, oh. that is a fantastic meme. And it's weird that it pops up years after the Inside Out core memory stuff in the movie came out, but, it, but I'm very glad it happened. Yeah. That meme is like very, it, it's like, it just sometimes appears. It shows itself when it wants to. Not always. Well, when it's it, it was never, it was never huge, but it's always there. I love it when you break metal boxes and there's rupees inside. Oh yeah. Damn someone, it, someone put those, those six one. gems in that one big box. I can't drop it, but I can eat it. Nice. I would probably say that Link has disordered eating. Yeah. I mean, at least now he's eating actual food. In previous games, all he drank- he only, like, drank potions and grandma soup. That's all he- that's all he consumed. Yeah, that's true. So it, it is an improvement, technically. Yeah. What? what? What does it want me to feed this thing? Hello? Uh, I do love oh, the stasis probably. radar, because it'll help you find both just, like, ingredients and monster parts lying around. Oh, that's very nice. Didn't even think about that. Even if it's, like, a flower that has been plucked, it counts as an ingredient, so it's still highlight yellow. Ooh. I don't think but I've ever... Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't highlight uh, arrow bundles, though, which is unfortunate, because those things are hard to see, and that's what I need oh, yeah. to highlight. True. 
um, the first time that I went through... Oh, fuck, I forgot the name of the area. Dude, have you been to that, like, really dark area? Oh, shit. It's, like, pitch black. I don't know if you can still hear me, but I lost your audio. Oh, no. Uh, okay, my audio's still going. I think it's on your end. I not hear you at all now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stinky. Oh, you know what? I think it's on my end. Hello? Hi? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hi, welcome. Hello? Hello? No, I can't hear you. Oh, shit. Did you break it? Ah, hi. I can hear you now. Oh, wait, for real? Yeah. Oh, and you can hear me. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Great. Uh, and I'll... Mr. Obvious. Obvious Studio gives me notifications whenever Wi-Fi falls down. It's like, oh, disconnecting, and then reconnection successful. And usually it's like immediate when the one notification happens, the second one comes right up. But this time mm -hmm. it was like a long. So I, I thought I would have to go oh. up to setting to try and fix Wi-Fi, but I guess it fixed itself. That's good, at least. Yeah. Surprising amount, which I guess just... Oh, but yeah, I forgot what we were saying when you stopped being able to hear me. I don't remember either, so it must have not been important. Guess not. Also, I guess it is important to mention that, like, actual OBS has changed its name to Stream Elements SE. Oh, and I guess that makes SE sense now. Stream Elements. Stream but Elements, yeah, okay. That that checks out. Up, I was like, I hadn't heard about that. It still says OBS when you boot it up, but it's like, yeah. the Some Streamlabs now. OBS came out. It's OBS is more of a generic term for an open broadcasting software. <laughs> it's not a specific brand anymore. Well, it's just like when the uh, whatever the heck bros tried to like trademark the term React in all media. And oh, like, yeah. You can't do that. Fine bros, <laughs> that's what it was. Fine bros, yeah. Also, one of the greatest things about Discord for PC is that you can close the application and you're still in this call. Because that's what I did to try and fix it. I was going to close it oh. and boot it back up. Huh. I forgot that you can do that. I haven't done it in so long. Yeah, yeah like, I don't think... ...that, but, you know, it's a thing you can do. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, you definitely... You, like, left and joined call a couple <laughs> times. I wasn't sure Thank if that was part of you closing the app or not. What time is it? 12.38? Alright, I can do one more, one or two more levels before I get off. I was, I was setting my bedtime to one. One central. Wait, what now? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop streaming at one central. Oh, uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that's 2 a.m. for me. I'm used to standing. Probably? Uh, 20 minutes from now. Yeah, 2 a.m. Alright. Sounds about right. Is that another camp over there? I guess it has to be, but I have no idea if anyone's actually inside or not. I've been finding that a lot recently, is that there's just like abandoned Bill Coblin camps. It's not even ones that I've came across and cleared out. They just have huh. nobody home. Just an empty one. Interesting. Yeah. Perfect. 
I'm just gonna make my uh, the the changes to my to my face cam last to the end of the stream. I've lost track of which ones end when, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it when I stop streaming. Yeah, that makes sense. I should probably go ahead and use up the last Revolve scale so it actually starts to recharge. I do actually really like it. You really like what? Direction. Oh, you're cutting out a little bit on my end? Dying. No, Link is facing. There goes all of them except the silver one. There goes my hero. So this will be my second silver vocabulary, which I guess means eventually Ooh. I'll find a gold one. Some boys days. Legend has it. The boat. Why did that? He's panicked running back and forth because I set him on fire. Nice. Good man. Committing war crimes like a like a true hero. The link is like the most famous middle of arson. That's true. Arson, arson for sure. <laughs> Other war crimes, maybe not so much, but arson definitely. That's enough out of you, pal. That's enough out of you, pal. Dragon to open his mouth. Send a bunch of links to stream stuff in Discord. Yeah, go ahead. Just put it in general. Or you can put it in spam and ping me. Depending on how much a lot is. That sounds like Silver Pacoblin, they do that. <laughs> so if, if I had, like, switched back with my playing clothes, or like... Some scary guys. It's fun when you backtrack somewhere you've already been, and you see a Korok scene you've already gotten, and you just go like, the Korok is just staring at you. 
behind you. Oh, yeah. They're like, yep, I'm still here, just chilling. <laughs> yeah, haha, you found me home. again. Uh, I'm, I'm all out of Korok seeds, uh, can't help you there. There we go. Fly, Link, fly. I hate how Fall Rescue doesn't actually rescue me here. I just die because the fire is there. Oh, is that an extra you got? Yeah. It's supposed to stop me from dying to falling, but half the time it doesn't work because there's a hazard that kills me before I actually hit the death plane. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Unfortunately. And the other half the time it just sends me back to a, a very inconvenient location. <laughs> yeah. So it's just not a good extra, regardless. The most important character, Harry Brown Jacket. Of course. Who could have who, 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 who remembers? Who, who, who doesn't remember him? The, the one time that Harry wore a brown jacket. <laughs> Very important. Yeah. Oh, Tom Riddle's just chilling here. Nice. Spray water, that works pretty easy. Some of them are a lot less of a puzzle than other ones. Wow, I missed a lot. <laughs> I think I might have gotten three out of three of the skeletons, and then the the, the house crest piece dropped, and I just didn't pick up the house crest piece for one of them. <laughs> oh, wait, you know, you have to go back and grab it? I mean, I have to restart the level and then do the same thing again, and actually grab it this time. <laughs> God. Ugh. Yeah. Kinda gross, not gonna lie. That is, like, quintessential... Lego game fail. That's that was just, yeah. That that's just my fault, honestly. <laughs> mini kits a million times. Yeah. 
You play as many Lego games as I have done. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. You, you end up replaying levels a lot. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's a certain number rather than well. I guess you have if you have auto saves at a certain frequency, it would be a time, but it's more well, yeah, more so like a number I of saves. Always manually save whenever there's like a good stopping point. I guess. I should oh, gotcha. Point. Yeah, fair enough. It's because that was, that was something I had to learn the hard way with Skyrim is that it would never delete old saves, which I guess is just its nature. But, yeah, uh, it just works. It, it does just work, exactly. But pretty much, uh, once you had a bazillion saved, it would take, like, minutes to load up the, uh, what you would call it, just like, the, the menu and oh, yeah. the save menu. So it would, it would take minutes to save the game. And, uh, like, this is my very first time playing Skyrim, like, I was my first profile, and eventually I was just like, oh, I can go back and delete these. So I spent literally like an hour deleting the like All of your old saves. Hundreds, hundreds of saves from my entire playthrough. And now I just keep it. Uh, whenever it reaches 10, I delete all of them and just make new just like save again and make a new one. Sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my god, of course. Skeleton number two. Nice. Skeleton number three is in this area. What this thing wants from me. Oh, they're just behind oh. fucking. I swear I tried attacking that dragon. I'm upset. <laughs> I definitely hit it before. I was like trying to figure out how to get it to open his mouth, and I ended up finishing this section of the level before I figured it out. And I was like, oh, I guess it wasn't necessary. But no, all the shit I needed was behind the dragon, and I just apparently hit it wrong the first time. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it do be wasting arrows, though. For some reason, I always try to anticipate where it's going too much, as if it's moving faster than it is. Really, you should uh, just aim the balloon. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe a little bit ahead, but usually not. Usually not necessary. Yeah, just like, aim for the balloon, but not the bullseye. You aim for, like, the outer edge where it's going. Yeah, exactly. You get it. I guess. It's just me now. Alone with my thoughts. Huh. I'm not sure what... I'm assuming I need to open up the gate to get that one. 
Welcome back? Yeah. What happened? I don't know, man. What? That's just being weird. Oh, I see. Understandable. I... Had, I see a dragon. There's a dragon in front of me. Ooh, the dragons are fun. The, I, I played the fir first time I played Breath of the Wild, I was completely blind. So I, when I first saw the dragon, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, first that I thought I had to kill it. But uh, that's that's not something you can do. I mean, yeah, you can't really kill it. But attacking it does get you some benefits, so. Well, you yeah, know. Like, I've gotten. A, I got the scale of the dragon, the one that's at, like, the Shrine of Wisdom, the Shrine Quest. Yeah, yeah. And then I saw the red dragon and got a scale and also a peak. Nice. It took me like forever to actually manage to get the scale, the scale horns, and whatever the fuck else the first time through. It's kind of yeah, a pain. Hitting the horn is really the tough part. Cause it's <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty much got it right on top of the damn thing. You have to be like, yeah, right in front of it. But for some reason, this dragon has opted to go straight into the sky, and I cannot get that high. Oh, it's the guy it's coming out of the uh, out of the lake, right? Uh, I guess so, yeah. I am right at a lake. Yeah, like there's the chasm, and then there's the lake, and then there's the shrine. Or the mountaintop, rather. Yeah. He is really going high up there. I don't know what he wants me to do. Damn right, you're my thoughts, Mark. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's why. I was on the because of this fucking stupid game. They really make, like, most towers near impossible to get to. Yeah, it's gotta be a challenge. Otherwise, it's just map? a chore. For the yeah. map of the area? Yeah. It's not like it gives you the master sword. I just want a map. Gotta work for it. Like how many how many shrines did you have to do to get the get enough hearts for the master sword? Probably a lot, right? Uh, I don't know if there's somewhere I can check. I'm not on the Lotus. I mean, regardless, it, it, it you got went through quite a few more challenges yeah. for the master sword than you did for a portion of the map. Three hearts, so I guess forty, because thirteen is the minimum. You start with three. Uh, how many divine beasts did you do? Yeah, so minimum. 40 shrines to get the master sword. Yeah. So you put in a lot of work to get a master sword, so I like, can't. Yeah, we know you cheat. What the? No! Stop!
don't feign ignorance with me, Mark. We we all know you. Uh, you 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 exploit. Maybe not cheat per se, but close enough. No, you you you, you play the game using using mechanics, not intended mechanics. Mechanics certainly, not intended. No, they weren't intended to be in the end. You're literally glitching the game to get the Masters over that early with six hearts. That is literally the uh, not intended. Like, by definition. Yeah, I kind of hate it when people try and use the argument of, like, oh, if it's in the game, it means it's intended. It's like, glitches and bugs are never intended. So, like, yeah. the code is just very complicated, so there's always going to be stuff that you don't intend to show up. Yeah. It's like, sometimes they keep it in on purpose, but that still doesn't mean it's intended. <laughs> yeah, and Breath of the Wild was not made by Todd Howard. Yeah. It's a feature. It's a game. I don't think stuff like wind bombs is intended either. It's it's a consequence of intended actions that is unintended. The un unintended qu consequence of intended actions. Yeah, what he said. I guess technically I can check. Mushrooms. Uh, it's a core seed, of course. I'm pretty sure most of those bugs have been have been patched. A lot of them only work at one point out now. No. I think wind bombs still work. For sure. I don't know about the others. At least I know in uh, Mario Odyssey a lot of the bugs are patched. Could not tell you when it comes to Breath of the Wild. I'm fairly certain there are some things fixed. Yeah. I can't say I know a game that never fixed anything. Like, even Skyrim fixed, like, the Agma mini glitch. Yeah. This do something? Apparently most of the speedrun tech for, for Breath of the Wild is still usable, so that's something nice. Yeah. Not that that would change anything. There's like plenty of speedrunning communities that use like old versions of games. Oh yeah, like like uh, fucking um, Mario Odyssey uses 1.0 because they patched so much shit out. That's why I was comparing it to Mario Odyssey because I know a lot more about that than I do about um, Breath of the Wild. So I just like ignored some skeleton guys and they just died on me. Yeah, the nut jump. The wet nut jump. What the fuck? You don't know about the wet nut jump from Mario Odyssey? Uh, no, I'm not familiar. I barely played Mario Odyssey yeah, when I got no. it. I'm not really a Mario guy. It's a bug that lets you get infinite height by throwing a nut in diving onto it, jumping off of it, and then catching it in midair. It's sort of like a weird sequence of events that allows you to get infinite height. But it only oh, so works if you... Like yeah, it only works if you dunk the nut and if you dunk the nut in water first. That's to be a wet nut. If it's a dry nut, it doesn't work. Well, that's kind of it is. I, I don't think anyone has come up with an explanation as to why it has to be wet. They just know it has to. It doesn't work otherwise. And they use it in uh, minimum captures to skip getting uh the electric wires so they can go you go further i have one level left fuck it 
I know it's 1am, I'm gonna do this one last level and then, and then I'll call it. Might as well end on a, end on a, uh, a good finishing point for the night. You mean like, in the whole game, one level left? A one level, one level of the story left 100%. Then there's still the open oh, world to do. okay. You still gotta do, like, free play? Yeah. Well, no, I'm on free play for the levels. I have not done free play for the open world. I didn't realize there was a difference when it came to the open world. Yeah, the later games have the open world with all the collectibles and shit that's, uh, different from the, the levels. Oh, I guess that's true. I thought you were trying to tell me that the there was like a separate open world in free play. Well, no. A, the the open world during the story is a lot more limited than the the open world after you complete the story. Yeah. That's what I mean by that. You just need to go through like all the characters you need to get like random collectibles. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't think you unlock Polyjuice Potion until you you basically beat most of the game, if not all the game, in this one. Got the Korax. And I think I know what I'm supposed to do. This one. Yes, yeah, nice to have you here, Mark. Appreciate it. Damn it. I hate those quark seeds that like, chase the glitter trail. And then when I try to hit A for oh, yeah. I'm never fast enough the first time. Of course not. That'd be too easy. It's kind of awkward to be holding down B to sprint and then also try to spam A, for example. Yeah, that that kind of does beat Nintendo's way. Uh, in order to get optimal, whatever, you have to like claw grip the controller. Yeah, that, that's a that's like a big thing in a lot of speed running stuff, especially like. I don't know if it's especially, but I see it a lot in SA2 speedrunning. And that's just not something that I want to oh, do yeah. with my hands. Yeah, whistle sprinting is, is the big one. that I that, That's the only yeah, exploit yeah, that I actually like, use. Either the last stream or the one before that, there was a guy in chat telling me about that. And I straight up told him, I'm not going to do that. It is like, sure, infinite stamina is cool, but it's only for running, not for fighting or anything else like essential. So it'll, it'll just like get me places faster, and I'm not gonna sacrifice my stuff. That's a lot of fucking money. I just got a lot of fucking money. I think I got the last uh, student in peril in the story in the game. So that, that was a lot. <laughs> nice. Don't need stamina for fighting, says Mark. I don't think you need. Do you need stamina for fighting? I have no idea. It's very useful in Breath of the Wild. That's like a joke to say that you don't need it, because you need it for power attacks and... Oh, yeah. Doing the spins. I know spins are pretty, uh, pretty big deal. Yeah, you need it for power attacks, both for, like, uh, you know, the one-handed and two-handed weapons, and also, if you're gonna be in the air, and then you wanna fire your bow in the air, it, like, mm, really yeah. depletes your stamina really quickly. Sure hope we come back to that section later. 
So there was more shit to get. I think I hit a cutscene though, which means I'm definitely going back there later. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Backtracking probably is like the most enjoyable part. Yeah, I think there's just because yeah. it was like a, a mainly Lego game problem. Well, yeah, yeah, I. I I don't have a problem with backtracking. It's just this level specifically. There's like an area that I'm in. I got halfway through the area and it cuts to a different scene with different characters. Well, yeah, like I, I feel like every yeah. game that has the ability to backtrack has to do it at least once or twice. But the fact that you have to do it with literally every level in a LEGO game, if you want all the stuff, that's rough. I mean, that's what I enjoy about LEGO games, to be honest. Backtracking, I don't have a problem with. At all. That's like... I would never commit to something like this where I have to 100% every LEGO game if I uh, wasn't okay with backtracking. It. So I'm almost certain it wants me to shoot the rock up. Ooh! That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Fuck, why are there so many Death Eaters here? Holy shit. Fall rescue actually helped, but also cool. It actually worked. Wait a damn second. Oh, it came back. So I have to find this guy. About it. Easy. Oh wait, shit, this is a three-stage fight. Fuck! Alright, <laughs> I guess, I, guess I'm gonna duel her again after I... to deal one more damage to her. Through a whole deal with duel process of getting... of dealing four damage to her, just to deal one damage to her. <laughs> Does that make sense? I wish fast magic helped with duels. Really? Does it? It doesn't. I wish it did. Because you have to fucking oh. mash the button to to yeah. like, the, fight the, them. Really nice if, if, if I could also use fast magic with actual attacks. Yeah. yeah. That would be pretty cool. And make it so much nicer so I don't get hand cramps from all the mashing I have to do.
Fuck off, Nagini. Do not care. Damn it, I wish invincibility like removed the fucking hit stun. Cause god this is annoying. Oh, do you still get staggered? Yeah. Especially because like I'm fighting Nagini right now, who spits venom, which like blinds the character, so it's like an extra long hit stun. Oh, is it the, the, the snake? Yeah, big big snake. Snake! Get his ass easy. Trying to sneak behind this. Oh! Uh, hmm! <laughs> I just turned into a character. I'm just fucking T posing around. There was no animations. Does this fix his animations? Nope, he's still T posing. Oh, he's in a slightly different pose though. What is happening here? I'm so confused. You can tell they're not supposed to be in the scene. Oh, it's because that's player one. That's supposed to be Harry Potter. I understand how this works now. Harry Potter's supposed to be dueling Voldemort right now. <laughs> Okay. Does it like not like you to anyone else? Well, yeah, yeah. And he gets kind of like locked into it, but then like he's also free to move around with you because it's free play. So it kind of fucks up when you're not playing as a character that's supposed to be there. That's kind of funny. You know? They just didn't want to like, kill the man who just uh, chose Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a whole lot of magic going on here as I fucking like T-pose around. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, if I get hit by uh, the fucking Dementor, I go into a, a scared pose and start sliding around in that instead. Very nice. I'm sorry, is Harry Potter just running around Voldemort in circles back there right now? <laughs> this is just an incredible fight in free play, I have to say. <laughs> anyway, I am done here. Does it like soft lock you? No, I can change it to a character that's that can do things, and then player one still works perfectly. It's just like the player that's supposed to be Harry Potter dueling Voldemort just doesn't work because there's not supposed to be two characters there. It's supposed to be you, and then the other player is is like out of commission because they're dueling. It's it's whack, but it is how it is. Yeah. Anyway. Nothing more satisfying than killing an That's true. Nothing quite as satisfying. See, if I was sponsored by Snickers, this would be a good time to interject. <laughs> God. <laughs> what a stupid fucking joke. <laughs> Exactly. Snicker satisfies. Every time. Every time. Alright, and that was all of the story levels, 100%. Nice. Next stream, I will be finishing up the Hogwarts Castle. Yes, I'm aware that exists, nerd. I, 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 don't, I don't like that I'm aware that it exists, but I, I'm aware. Anyway, peace, dude.
Thanks for hanging out yeah. for the stream. No problem. All right. Your mom calls me a Snickers. Of course. That sounds like something she'd do. You get the double kill here. Anyway, guys, thanks for the um, the the fucking hype train and the three gifted subs or the three regular subs, not gifted subs, just actual subs. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. This was a a very good stream. So uh, yeah, have a good one. Ah uh, yes, gonna get some awesome rebos in the chat. Oh, hell yeah. I feel like you're gonna get banned by the fucking auto mod. I don't know what the spam limit is on auto mod, but. <laughs> I only see one person posting awesome rebos in the chat. Okay, there we go. Nerdy Chaos posted some. I see it now. Alright. Okay, it's actually breaking my fucking OPS. All right, night. <laughs> oh wait, shit! I'm gonna raid someone. Right, I'm not. I'm not leaving yet. I'm gonna find someone to raid. Oh wait, I can just raid fucking Kyle Kenneth. What am I doing? Watch raid. Oh god, it's lagging. Oh god, you're you're legitimately breaking my fucking OPS. Okay, uh, Kenneth. There we go. God, please. Please, stop. <laughs> Alright, raid now. Alright. Nice.